That is true. You're close second. I mean, you and I, like, we could we could teach a class, like, at, like, Columbia about body cam footage. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's going to start making his own body cam footage. <laughs> Have you seen this one? It's crazy. It's the time I shot a guy in the back of the head. <laughs> no, it's really crazy. We should watch it on the Patreon. I've done FOIA requests. Like, I know how to what? request body cam What'd footage. What'd you FOIA request? I just go every day. If I you hear, just go for <laughs> recreation, you request. Yeah, I'm, if uh, if if uh, police watch doesn't release something fast enough, I'd FOIA it myself, and I I'll pull the. Are footage. you shitting me? No, I've done FOIAs. It's very easy. I love saying That's the phenomenal. word FOIA. Yeah, FOIA is great. FOIA. Yeah, I FOIA'd. I <laughs> FOIA. What does that even mean, though? You went Freedom, Freedom of, of Information, Information Act. Act. So you just go online and you basically submit a form and you type the information. So, like, let's say in the news, somebody's like, hey, there was a shooting on 6th and Wilshire. You could go on to uh, the LAPD's website and just go, like, hey, here's a FOIA. I, I demand the footage um, of the shooting, of the body cam. And they have they to have send it to you. They have to send it to you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I they love can the, redact it. I love it the just idea. Feels so of, perverted. I know. I love the idea of doing that just for personal pleasure. Yeah. Like you're not like looking into the case or trying to like see if something <laughs> really happened. Joey's just like ordering like Postmates. He's like, I'm fucking bored. <laughs> and listen, you have to send it to me. Listen, LAPD, I'm trying to get my rocks off, so please send it my way. <laughs> I can't rewatch uh, Face Off. Again, Joe's. I need the footage. <laughs> Joe's like, I heard a pretty hot chick got killed on 8th Street last night. Send the footage, bub. Now I never watch a hot chick get killed. I, I like to see <laughs> the ranged white guys holding rifles outside of a Wells Fargo. Yeah. You, should, you should create like a streaming app that is... That you already have. I'm not trying to get rich off this. I like to watch it I'm saying it for I myself. think you could. I easily could. Anybody You're so passionate could. Yeah. about it. Joey's streaming. I could yeah. start bum fights as well. Uh, but, sure. you know, I'm just, I do it for uh, out of a passion. I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my passion. It's out of the passion. <laughs> well, check this one out. This is quick, too. This is like a cliff note body cam, and it's fucking great. Here uh, we go. Watch this. It's like this like white... Like, Wigger guy. Rob. Is Wigger bad, by the way? No, I, th- I think it is. It is bad, right? Because it yeah. assu- it's assuming that, that you call black people the N-word. You're like, no, he's like, you, but why? <laughs> but with O-W. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is bad. But it's, it's not the best, but you're not going to get in trouble But for I it. feel like it's like no one's really... Uh, no one enforces. I don't say it in front of black people. Yeah, yeah. That's how I know. I, that's why I think it's kind of bad. Right. I have said it in front of black people. What yeah. do they say? They, I don't think they want, I don't, I don't, I don't think they, I don't think they want to get into it. I think it. any iteration They like of roll their eyes. Devin's like, they don't want the smoke. They don't so. want that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, for real, like, like, they know me, like, they know me, I'm, I'm like a real wigger. So, like. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you would never say wigger. I started that's like, saying That's why it, it's kind of. And I started saying it again in the last, like, three or four years, and there was a period of my life where I was like, yeah, I shouldn't say it, because it is, a, it is act, it is just saying, like, no, I, I call black people their N-words, mm-hmm. but when they're white acting like a black mm-hmm. guy, they're wiggers. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's a perfect word. It, but it's just, I sometimes I don't know how else to, to summarize a white guy acting black. It's You're not my right. fault in the early 2000s they came up with this r- r- brutally racist term. <clears throat> code there switching. To, there needs to, no, it's not even code switching, though, because it's like they live they, that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I don't like saying white guy act uh, like a hip-hop white guy. I don't like acting like black people are all in hip-hop. There does need to be another word. They need to figure this out. Yeah. It, I, right? I mean, no, seriously, like, sometimes I literally say it just so we could get to the fucking point. Yeah. I don't right. know how else to, like, what is, J- what is Jamie Kennedy in Malibu? Was most wanted. I mean, back in the yeah. what, what did we say? What do we call him? I can spend like uh, thirty seconds trying to describe this, or there's a word I could say right now that <laughs> everybody gets exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you know, listen, you know, cancel us. Fucking a couple of years, whatever. Figure it out. It's not, it's not for me. I'm not running <laughs> the move. I'm not using. I'm the not word running the move. There we go. We're laughing at the idea of that. <laughs> So, you know, get with the movement, you know, do all the paperwork. It'd be funny if wiggers get mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yo, bro, that's like a slur. We get canceled uh, by wiggers. Yeah, a bunch you of can't bu- be calling us that, bro. <laughs> bunch of juggalos cancel exactly. us. Exactly. The dark carnival comes after us. <laughs> all right, here we go. Look at this. Look at this beauty. I love warning. I love when it says warning. Yeah. Okay, okay we, we get it. New York. We get it. 911, what's your emergency? There's a wigger here. <laughs> Now, now we're just going to say it all episode. <laughs> My son is sagging his pants and he's listening to rap. <laughs> okay. And I see that 
This is like a Safety Brothers. Movie. It's yeah, it is. It's like an Arab guy calling it into. He's like, "There's white man. He is acting like all the other people that give me shit." <laughs> There's a man here. He's deeply confused about who he is. Deeply confused white man. <laughs> white man with wavy hair. He asked for Magnum. I know he's not that big. <laughs> he is not acting like his color. He seems to have a knife and identity crisis. <laughs> Like, can you describe him to us? He's like, he has a backwood, uh, old English 40 and do rag. Like, okay, so black man. They're like, he's like, no, 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 no. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. My friend, I charge him dollar eight for Arizona iced tea. He keep pointing to can, saying ninety nine cent. <laughs> Like, okay, so black man. No. <laughs> no. You won't fucking believe it. Just wait till you get here. It's crazy, man. In progress. 10.30. Robbery in progress. Put your fucking hands Boom. up. Oh, Put your fuck fucking yeah, hands dude. up. Fuck yeah. He's dude. holding like Drop a... Drop the fucking knife. Drop the fucking knife. Get out of the... Holy, by the way, he's like trying to oh, rob... Yeah. He's trying to rob a bodega with like a butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> that was the shittiest knife I've ever seen. Get out of the fucking ground. Get out of the fucking chill, ground. Chill, chill. I love when cops hey, yo, cuss. Man. We're gonna need another unit. We're gonna get chill, another chill. unit. I was Don't just trying to rob him. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Listen to him. He keeps saying, shut kids. the fuck up. I gotta feed my kids, nigga. Hey. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I love this, you know. No better way to get the cops to treat you uh, uh, well than acting black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, what if they just shoot him? He's so committed to the bit that he's like, he can't even do it for his own benefit. He can't stop. <laughs> so committed. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I love the idea that it's a bit. So he's like Andy Kaufman of yeah. Harlem. I like how the, the cop's just like, say bro, one more time. I swear to fucking God, say bro, again. Mm. Sound like my fucking kids. <laughs> I got, the fam, fuck I got up. a baby mama on the way, nigga. I got a baby mama on the way, man. I got a baby mama on the way, man. How my kids? He's good though, dude. Here's the thing. When I watched this before you guys got here, when he was on the floor saying it, I was like, did I not see this right? Is he a black? Like yeah, I thought yeah, maybe he, he was a black guy. Could he be a light-skinned Dominican or yeah. something? Like, what's going on? I had no clue. Kids, man. How my kids gonna grow up, nigga? Don't you fucking move. I'll smoke you, dude. Oh, <laughs> fucking cop, smoke you, no pigs. Now, now the cops starting to like get into it. <laughs> the cop is code switching. The cops code switching yeah. now, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give hey, you fam, chill. Hey, fam, chill. I'm just trying to arrest you, homie. I'm gonna give you 25 to life, bro. <laughs> uh. Hey, Jesus, man. I gotta get my kids on black, man. Oh, shit. Are you okay, That guy's sir? white. Are you okay? Oh, okay, oh okay. wow. Okay. Cops like, pull your fucking pants up. <laughs> Sick of this shit. Jesus. Yo, what's going on, man? Why are you pulling up? Shut the day? fuck up. Yeah. Let's go. Shit, man. Okay, okay. Yo, don't pull me up like that, man. Let's go. There we go, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Oh, shit. Hey, bro. Hey, yo, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> 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 hey, yo, I didn't do shit to you, man. I bet this guy, like, like he called his dad after this in prison. He's like, yo, Pops, you got to bail me out. <laughs> you got to bail me out, Pops. And he's just like, Connor, I've had enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he answered the phone. He's like, oh, Brayden, not again. <laughs> Gene Lennon, I swear to God. I'll send the driver oh, your way. You're, you're lucky you didn't get shot. <laughs> fuck you, nigga. Ah, you lucky you get didn't the get, fuck in there. You're lucky you didn't get stabbed, nigga. Lucky you didn't get stabbed. Uh, <laughs> real, quick, real, quick, real quick, the way he even like voices like pain was code switching. It's code switching. Yes. Ah, damn. Like that's <laughs> yeah. He's so dedicated to this persona. Completely dedicated. Yeah. No, he's in this. Ah. He might as well. He's in this like the back of the of the cop car. And he's like, man, you got a nice suburban. What, <laughs> what type of rims you got on this bitch? <laughs> he's man. He's like they spinning. They are they spinning? <laughs> keep going. Keep going. I could kill. I could slit your throat, nigga. I couldn't <laughs> your throat. Dude, he's having, this guy is having like a out of body. This is all he's ever wanted. Yeah, yeah. he wanted to get arrested. Now he's like, I'm finally black. Yeah. <laughs> I was arrested. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
He's been waiting and with that, the butter. I didn't butter mean it that way. I just meant for him. Yes, know. Devin, very good. For him. He's a, a wigger. Which way He's did you mean it? He's a wigger. What did you mean? Yeah, what did you mean by that then? Come these on. Words, I meant that black words. people get wrongfully arrested. Oh, she's saying he's wrongfully arrested. He's this being history. wrongfully <laughs> arrested. He's got kids to feed, man. <laughs> you got baby mama got on the way. You got baby mama. What does that mean? You have a baby mama on the way. <laughs> he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what that means. He was on Urban Dictionary last night. He's like, man, I got a baby mama on the way, man. She FedEx. <laughs> FedEx. <laughs> UPS. Oh my god. I got god. a baby mama on the way. She's scary. Oh, man, I got a big man UPS. What can Brown do for you? <laughs> I see Joey. Joey's not liking this this video cuz like it? Joey it's not his. I, Joey I fed haven't me seen this. all the leads and I started off with one that wasn't his and What Joey's channel is this on? Sitting in the corner what channel brooding. Is this? Well, what channel? Um, it's not on a channel. It's on an indie-based body cam channel. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Based. Actually, what channel? Oh, Can I you don't... check? Um, Carl Doe. It's just some guy. But oh, that's why. How has... did you find it? Uh, the great people uh, of the Hate, oh, you of the hate Watch fans. Oh, you didn't find it. Somebody sent it to you. I, I watch no, all the main channels. I went to the Reddit. Oh, yeah. And I okay, well, yeah, so their, uh, you know, their, their, their submissions. Whatever. Yeah. Thank you, folks. It wasn't your fun. Let's keep watching. He's stolen Valorant. Right exactly. Yeah. It's stolen Valorant. Yeah, it's stolen Valorant <laughs> body cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't even watch yeah. body cam shit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I watch your body cam record, bro. You're like a hipster about it. Don't you yeah. go to body cam boot camp? I was camp. into body cam like before like Arcade Fire got big. <laughs> World's wildest police videos. Yeah. Dude, this guy is like the Fleet Foxes of body cam footage. You're going to love it, dude. It's fucking awesome. Airplane over the sea of body cam. <laughs> Joey's playing body cam footage on a record player. <laughs> He's got one of those spinny things with a horse that goes. Go to sleep Man, it's a Tahoe. Dispatch. White Suspect apprehended. <laughs> 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 When I come out, nigga, I'm gonna be the best rap hey, artist of all time. He shut the no fuck up. way. Yeah, there we go. Is this like, we know it happened. It seems like parody. It almost, almost yeah. feels yeah. like a parody now. Yeah. This might be a sketch. I don't think no, it is. It's bro. not. This guy wanted to get arrested. No real nigga gonna slide Shell, real nigga go ride him. Just call him a white bitch, dude. What if the cops are not a sketch? What if the cops start beatboxing right now? <laughs> He's like, damn, that's sick, bro. He said, shut up. That shit go hard. Shut up, you white bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that kicks ass. Even a even now now this guy sucks so much ass. He's making white police officers hate themselves. Yeah, absolutely, they're like I hate white people. I'm coming around to him. I'm being honest. I love him. Yeah, I want to look into who this man Me is. Too. Let's have him on. I would love. To he get should this have his own on. show. Yeah. He really should. Unbelievable. We could write him a letter if we find out his name. Man. It's like Kevin Federline. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Travis Kelsey. He's a man. Video. I got a baby mom on the way, man. She was in a, a conservatorship and shit, man. Her daddy mean as hell, bro. She was stuck in Vegas, trapped with chains around her feet and, and on, man, like King Kong, bro. Like, <laughs> I was on Biggest Loser, like bro. King Kong. They bring Britney Spears out. And she dances just at like the Grammys with chains <laughs> on each limb. <laughs> Colin Hanks is going to show up and be like, all right, Chet, come back. I'm bailing you out again. You done? Bro, this is one of those guys that's like, where you actually, you you can't, you don't even understand what happened to them to make them be, be like this, like, want to be black. Yeah. Like, like, literally, how does this happen? Is this in New York? Yeah. I've never seen a guy like that in New York. Yeah, cause I don't even feel like the black people in New York, they would be like, get away. They would, they, you couldn't get away with no, it. No, this guy's what from Memphis doing? or something. He's from Memphis. Yeah, he's got and like he a moves. southern draw yeah. to him. Yeah, yeah. In the South, these guys exist all over. Yeah, uh, for sure. But in New York, it's like, you can't really get away with it. No. Be like, what the fuck You'll you get doing? pistol whipped. No, in yeah. New York, they'll pants you yeah. and they'll, they'll just take your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, just, they'll give you a wedgie, dude. They'll give you a wedgie, dude. Dude, if you were in New York acting like this, they'll put you in a trash can, roll down a hill. Dude, all right. New York doesn't play, buddy. <laughs> all right. We'll fuck, we'll crumple up some paper towels while you're taking a shit we'll throw them over the stall my friend <laughs> you know how uncomfortable it is taking a shit while there's paper towels wet paper towels being thrown at you you believe that shit oh, what a, is there a worse punishment than listening to a guy rap 
his his like his <clears throat> his independent like you know his his songs that he's come up with. <laughs> Is there a worse punishment on Earth? Probably not. The cop is like, he's going to kill him. He's going to kill him soon. I think the only worse punishment is if you had like arrested a comedian and he was like, anyway, what's the deal with airline food? In the back? <laughs> what's what's in the, the deal with handcuffs? Look, sucking your tit. Did you just say sucking your tit? Yeah, and they go, Dre, yo, let me out of my fucking car, man. I'm car, let me out of this goddamn vehicle, nigga. This is shit. Yeah, soon enough you'll you be out. Even my Miranda rights, nigga. You're my lucky rights. you're not dead right you know, now. The first amendment, the Constitution, nigga. Fuck you all, nigga. Let me go. Let me free. Fuck you all, nigga. I'm going to fuck your ass up, boy. You know the right to remain silent? I'm going to fuck your ass up, boy. You should use that one. Fuck you, nigga. I ain't being, I'm going to be silent. I'm going to protest. Yo, free my nigga. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> This guy kicks ass. Now, here we go. I want to think about this real quick. If the cop was a black cop, would he be putting up with this guy calling him the N-word? Probably. I mean, this guy's I, not really putting so. up with it either. Yeah, I yeah but know. that's because he's offended by white people be doing this. Yeah. This cop I, hates. He's not doing it in the hardy R context. This, this cop's like, you are really, I mean, like, I listen. think any black cop would just be at a loss for words. They just I, wouldn't even be talking. I think a yeah. black cop would be kind of tickled by it. He'd laugh. I think yeah, he'd be yeah. like, this is like, the most ridiculous dude of all time. Yeah. <laughs> He's texting yeah. his girlfriend being like, you, you ain't going to believe who I got in the back of my car right yeah. now. A black cop would FaceTime his baby mama and be like, you got to see what I got in the back <laughs> That was very good. Beautiful, beautiful fade I love out, that. right? Great right? find. That was wonderfully edited. Great find to whoever found that. Well, I had to do the I had sure. to do the dirty work. Sure, sure. Mm. You know, no one wants to go on our Reddit. John is the moderator. Well, John is. I, well, I, I, I posts our nudes on the. John Reddit. is obsessed I, well, with Reddit. It's it's I, actually creepy been, how much John obsessed loves with am our I Reddit. The asshole. It's insane. With what? Just, am I the asshole? Oh, I've like, seen those. Yeah, oh, those yeah. like weird ones. Am I, the like, am I being great. a jerk? Like there's like guys who are like abandoning their wives and they're like, am I being a big jerk? Yeah, they're right like, now. I fucked my wife's sister yeah. on the night of our wedding. Am I a jerk? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And everyone in the comments is like, well, was she hot? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, well, she has feelings, but you do too. No, you have like, needs that need to be met. <laughs> like, am I the asshole? Sometimes it's so crazy. Like it'll be like Scott Peterson on it. He's like, killed my pregnant wife while jogging last night. Like, am I the asshole? Like people seem pretty pissed about Port, this. Post mortem birth. Uh, Buried my family uh, in a water tank in the desert. <laughs> Uh, outside of Colorado, it's the uh, Chris Watts. Am I the <laughs> asshole? Am I the asshole, Chris? Watts? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I don't really know if we care, but you know, my favorite rock star has recently been accused of uh, rape and sexual assault. Russell Brand. <sighs> oh yeah. My I favorite rock that. star of all time. Uh, do we? Do we care? Should, we, should we watch? I, ca- yeah, I, one care. Video? I think so. I care a little bit. It's yeah. kind do of we have interesting. His response? Uh, yeah, we have on a response, Twitter. but we could we could also like well, you know just like like break down the case for a second because it was on ABC News and everything, and I you know what. Yeah, listen, I'm I'm still recovering from Masterson, <laughs> dude. First Masterson, now Russell Brand. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's here's the thing. Aldous Snow is a great character. Great Infant Sorrow, fantastic band, incredible band. <laughs> he's a great comedic actor. Yeah, and I have to say, he's articulated his thoughts uh, on uh, the state of the world and. Uh, media corruption and government corruption pretty well for the last I've, few I've years. I've paid zero attention to I haven't it. really Zero-bye, either, but yeah. but he but I, I but he's a smart dude. He was like anti COVID, that's what I remember. And he's really he's really he's really well spoken and and he was on a he was on real time with Bill Maher, my boy Mar. Getting my club random tattoo next week. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cartoon's doing it actually. And um, he killed it. On Club Rand, or on a uh, real time. Okay. Um, uh-huh. And uh, destroyed this, like, MSNBC, like, you know, shyster. What was the debate? Uh, he was just uh, talking about how, like, like, like they're, you know, they're trying to act like he lies, kind of, and he goes, you're on MSNBC, like, you completely, this like. Is very biased, you're not real yeah. journalists. You, what, what about what you did with Rogan, where you guys, like, you know, you willfully misrepresented oh, him Rogan. and Ivermectin and all sure. that stuff, and which is true, and I know every, that's, it's annoying, because it's, like, so incessant, and those guys can be annoying, but it is true, they did. They did run a campaign on Rogan during the pandemic that was absurd. Really? Yeah. The ivermectin stuff. Yeah. Sure. The horse pay sure. shit, all Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And he spoke very articulately about that. And, you know, now now it's a whole thing where Russell Brand, these allegations, it's like, it's, 
people are people are saying they're only going after him now conveniently because he was a threat to, to the establishment. The establishment, which is silly sounding, but not that crazy because I think it's the BBC. These journalists um, approached these women and told them that they, that they, 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 they like the, the the women didn't come forward. The journalists sought after women. And, and like they they looked up his ex girlfriends or something. I don't even know yeah, how they find friends. I I, I don't know. Just like rumors, but but none of it seems that realistic to me. And uh, uh, they uh, it's just odd when they seek it out to write an article about it. Like they like they were like let's I want to we want to do this. Now. That's like, all we got to take him down. Their job. Yeah. It's a scummy, pathetic job, but mm -hmm. that's what they do. They're. Uh, creating like uh, hatchet jobs nonstop. It's like they're going for outrage. This is going to generate views and clicks and revenue. What's what's the story? How can we figure out how to make a big viral? All I know is here's a screenshot from an article I read real quick, and it was a bizarre um, quote. All said they felt ready to speak only after being approached by reporters. Several said they felt compelled to do so given Brand's newfound prominence as an online wellness influencer with millions of followers on YouTube and other sites. So I, that's I odd. Heard any of the that allegations. They only felt like coming out after like they were like, "Oh yeah, I don't like his yeah, his, lawyers are there, getting involved. What he's doing. Are there any legit sounding allegations that I don't want to sound like we're apologetic. I haven't heard anything, so I'm just I'm I, yeah, I heard some I. allegations but they were voiced by actresses reading like statements made well, by these in. what, I, what I also heard is the in. British government contacted TikTok and asked if they were going to continue playing his clips and shit and, which is insane and they've like you, the British government is yeah. on behalf of like here it's just weird and immediately after YouTube demonetized his uh, channel yeah and once again, these are just allegations. He is, this is not in a court of law. Mm -hmm. this, these are 15 year year old uh, allegations. Um, and, you know, I mean, he's a fucking rock star, baby. <laughs> Very well. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. God damn it. Get him to the Greek. <laughs> I mean, what do we need? What do you have to do in this country to, to get, you know, have a uh, fucking immunity? I did listen to that soundtrack after that movie came out quite a bit. Really? Yeah, I thought it was a good. I thought it was a good album. Well, they were fu they were good parody songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. Not parody songs. They're just no. They're parody songs, aren't they? Like, like I want to be inside you. Yeah, yeah. But they are just like legitimate. Like they're silly songs. Yeah, yeah. But yeah I remember yeah. recorded like, legitimately. Kind of yeah. They're good. Yeah, he's good. good. Melodies yeah. and yeah. like he's kind of killing it. He's good. Yeah. He's kind of killing it. Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of crushing it. He is killing it. <laughs> Will you come for my bangers, my beans and mash? I remember that. That's a great one banger. too, man. Uh, yeah. Absolute banger. You're right. Come on, dude. Yeah, I don't understand. He's innocent. Why can the why does Roger Daltrey of the Who walk free? Why does Jimmy Page <laughs> oh, yeah, walk free? That's kind of crazy. Russell Brand, no, those guys can't speak. We they should do a FOIA sound request retarded. for Russell Brand. What'd you say, John? We should do a FOIA request for Russell Brand. <laughs> See what should. the FBI has they, on. They have nothing. Of, well, they, they got, got nothing, nothing on nothing. him. I wish like British people allowed FOIAs because I bet they got something. There's got to be a British FOIA. I highly doubt They're it. They're so fucking weird as a government. FOIA stands like for TV freedom. License. There's no other country. Yeah, no, they like, fucking suck ass. Yeah. Sorry, our British people. British people suck it. ass. Yeah. I could go all day on that. Yeah. They suck. You know, I man. could go all day on that. I know That's you can good. too. I, You know, the food's yeah. all right. I think they get a the bad rap. The food is all right? I think That's they the get the a bad rap. That's insane, food. John. No, 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 I'm gonna what be, I'm what is the whole thing you do on this show? No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Meat pies are good, and they love that shit over there. It's like me, like like fucking like that's pies like Ireland, dude. Like yeah, shepherd's no, pie. It's the same that's thing. Like it's Irish. all the fucking same people. And like shepherd, that's I think that's Scottish. Well, whatever the well, Irish, it's all do comfort. That too. It's stews and bangers nice and mash. You like that's that shit? Delicious. You like their breakfasts? I'm sure it's fine. You want the beans? Sure yeah. The, the blood sure sausage? It's, it's not that bad. You know, sure I have a like weird jelly thought. deal. You could suck me off. I'm gonna say this real quick. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah. You guys know Drake has a kid. This is, yeah. this, this is not this really is not gonna make much sense, but I just yeah. want I need to say it. Okay. Does he look like the average British person or something? Okay. This is Drake's baby, and for some reason Jesus Drake's baby looks like a British breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why or what that means. I feel like the hair is the beans. The eyes are the blood sausages. The lips are the tomatoes. The lips are the weird tomatoes yeah, that they slice. Yeah, yeah. Those like horrible British tomatoes that are grown in fog. There's yeah. British energy coming off this kid. Yeah. It's a yeah. British breakfast. Haps Habsburg inbred energy. He's got that dumbass agape British mouth where he's like breathing out of his mouth like a yeah. little retard. Yeah. 
He also just looks like a haunted Victorian child. You know what I mean? Like, if you saw Drake's son in the middle of the night, you would like lose your mind. Yeah. yeah. You would shit your pants. Yeah. It's the shining, except except what yeah. comes out of the elevators is a British breakfast. Yeah. Like, exactly. I guess a <laughs> bunch of beans and starts falling out of the fucking... So anyway, I'm glad that got a laugh, but I've never understood what I meant by that. It makes perfect makes sense, sense to me. Now, but yeah. it does, right? Yeah. He's a little freaky kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's, he's Drake's kid. I mean, Drake makes albums longer than the amount of time he's spent with them. Oh, God. It's like, how you gonna respond to the Push Your T diss track, in it? In it? <laughs> Come on, bruv. <laughs> Throw it. Push hey, Your T fucking body you, bruv. He I'm impreg- poke you up. He impregnated this British broad. Oh, that, she's like, British. She's got the hips. That, she's got like those... Squid- Is she British? She, I think she's British. She's got like these Squidward Krabby Patty hips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. you know, for the, the you know, there's like that period of time when a white woman like like look, it looks good. I but thought she was a porn star. They expire. I like think she's milk. a British yeah. porn star. Okay. I think uh, a that's British depressing. porn star. Oh. Maybe Ugh. I'm wrong. I love British porn stars, dude. Fake Taxi. You kidding me? Okay. <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah. You kidding me? They're fucking. They, they, you think they're just going? They think they just. They need a ride uptown. <laughs> oh boy, do they need a ride uptown? They get that ride. I feel like the British uh. chicks do good jois. Jerk off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. John? I, I know C-I-J-O-I-P-O-V. exactly the videos you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. I love when John holds his eye, like we're in spotlight. Like, John, I love when John holds his face, like we're like we're literally breaking like a massive story. You're talking about J-O-I-P-O-V, C-E-I-S. I'm like, oh, fuck. They do have good J-O-I-S. They do have good cum eating instructions. John's in front of a chalkboard like, fuck. just says J-O-I. slamming my head against the window like beautiful mind. I'm like. John's rubbing his temples. The J-O-I-S. All right, back to uh, Brand. Well, you know what? I'm going to say, we, we've watched a, a second of this video. He's fucking innocent. <laughs> his, the, his profile is insane. Look at the side of his fucking face. Ladies oh, and yeah. gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Russell Brand. Hello there. Never yield the sex appeal, Jim, never. Hey, yeah, your past caught up to you, There's always flies to be caught. I'm a good role model for a child. <laughs> From TV host and comedian to author and Hollywood actor, Russell Brand has had quite the career. I can pretend to be nice for a little bit of time, you know, at the beginning of a relationship, him. right? Pretending to be not, yeah, nice. No, so well, that, he, this, he seems guilty to me. Yeah, that's a yeah, guy. yeah. He guilty. made women. Yeah, yeah, all we truly, needed to see was the stand. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, truly. the guiltiest thing about him is that he did stand up. <laughs> if you do yeah. stand up, there is a, like a ninety-four percent chance you're a rapist. Unfortunately, <laughs> okay. Well, you know, hey, well, you're in the six. I'm in the six percent. Yeah, 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 you're like fine. I know you. Yeah. But the rest, the rest, yeah. oh, the rest. They're the usual suspects of rape. Oh, it's crazy. Well, it's yeah. one thing crazy. to be a comic, but then also be a British comic. That's, you know, worst kind of person of yeah. all time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't stand it. It cancels dude. itself out. Also, just look how he dresses, and his attitude yeah. is just giving me, like, I rape women. Yeah. You yeah. See, you see anyone like the Daniel Sloss stuff? What did Daniel Sloss do? He was going on He raped a crowd with about, his jokes? No, no, no. <laughs> he's, like, he's dying on the hill that <laughs> Russell Brand's, a, like, a real bad guy. Oh, really? Yeah, he's like, he was on uh, Norman and uh, Sam Morell's podcast. Talking about... Talking about, like... Not dropping the name, but, like... There's a guy. Yeah. Yeah, but he's also... Russell Brand is, is his competition, right? Daniel Sloss is... Not like, anymore. Doesn't Daniel Sloss do, like, TED Talks and he's shit? He's just stand-up, you know? Well, what did he, what did he yeah, say? I don't like, think I, he, I had a bad experience with him, or is he just saying, I like, think I bet in the sucks. scene when they were all starting out stand-up, he was, like, talking... I don't know. I watched, like, a few seconds. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well... Yeah, I'm going to need somebody a little better than Daniel Sloss to uh, <laughs> accuse my boy. I'm okay. getting terrible vibes from him, but Daniel Sloss <clears throat> isn't swaying me in one direction or the other. I, hey, listen, Joey, I mean, I just can't. I, it's too much. It's too much at once. Masterson than him. I, know. I mean, I'm still like, I'm yeah. still like, you know, I, I still fly up to uh, to Idaho once in a while. And I I and I, and I, I talk to Koberger at like, like <laughs> Capote. I, 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 I'm actually developing a pretty, pretty great like relationship Jeff, well, with Koberger. And, You've and been I just, worried sick about him. I mean, by the way, there's a great. I, we're going. This is the most ADD thing ever. But there's a great picture of Koberger smiling in court. He finally Does smiled. He, look he wow. looks so happy and sweet. Could you look it up? Just Koberger <laughs> smile. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna. Your heart is gonna melt. He looks so happy. Is that oh. him with this? No, no, no. Go, go to images tab. Let's see. Right here. No. It's a big right it's here. A, it's a big great grin. Nope. Damn. Go wait. Co- you spelled it like that, yeah. insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This? 
This? I mean, he's, he's like a fine young man. He's smiling. No, no. no. Go to uh, oh, news. Yeah, one Go to news. Grins. There it is. Oh, oh dear. what a lovely guy. Oh, come on. I love seeing him. He's Look having a great time. time. Overcome all the, you know, they're trying to ruin his life. And he's, yeah. and he's still found a way. You can't stop a shine, man. Exactly. Man. <laughs> Smile. And look how cute his hair is. I think a, yeah. I think a, a somebody very smart uh, once said, smile through all the bullshit. <laughs> all Hell you can yeah, do dude. is smile. Hell yeah. What do you think they're talking about? They're talking about like like how many times the women were stabbed and he's, <laughs> he's doing a big grin. <laughs> Well, anyway. just like a, so the prosecutor's but, like, I don't want to say this. It might sound weird, but this guy did a really good job of killing these ladies. He's like, yeah, yeah, thanks, dude. There was, there was so much oh, blood yeah. that it was spilling out of the siding. There was an impressive amount of stab wounds. He's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's a sweet puppy. He's yeah. I hate what they're doing to him. I mean, well, you know, we 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 were the first to call it. He's innocent. It's like obvious at this point. Just let him out. No, but just kiss a bit ass, all right? No, I'm not even that interested in sex. Where's it come? I'll just kiss here. Just watch Wonderful Life on the video. The Nobstacle Course, I call that. Guilty. Oh, God. He publicly battled drug and sex addiction and was known for his provocative humour and over-the-top persona. Because <laughs> you took your eye off the road because things was getting a bit fruity out there. All right, uh, Liz, put you a bit cough. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, it's been oh, really a long yeah. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Christ right, Russell, like, relax. He's being <laughs> British. Yeah, you know. Come on. Please, I love you. <clears throat> he can keep pushing and being more and more extreme. And what the fuck uh, is with his hair? Nobody questions it because it just is, well, that's who he is. That's what he does. That's just Russell. He was once a darling of the left. You know, probably I don't agree with, of course apart from was. my admiration of firefighters, much that Russell probably... Pay their pensions but, then, love. Well, I'll, we can come to Excuse that. Excuse the sexist language I'm working on that. that. But in recent years, Brand morphed into a YouTube conspiracy theorist and wellness guru celebrated by the alt-right. The rubric is falling apart. All right, that's like... It's, it's, that's, that's, that's the guiltiest man I've ever seen. Yeah, I know, but the way, <laughs> but the words they're using, that is like hit piece words. Sure. All right. You no, know, they're doing like, the story that will get them the most views. Theorist. Yeah, it's a horseshoe theory. That woman looked like she knew him. When he, that he was hugging and kissing. No, that was all. Well, he she felt good kissing, on, kissing her because yeah, she, she was, was like a woman in her 50s. <laughs> they probably just met. Yeah. He's British. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the paradigm is collapsing. The aliens are coming. Now, in a joint investigation by the Sunday Times and Channel 4. He's a vampire he's hunter. He's a predator. <laughs> <laughs> in his latest years, he turned into Van Helsing. <laughs> oh, it's a little odd. Uh, Taking his yeah. pants off. Uh, he's very British. Good he's a rock star. July 1st, 2012 was... Pisses me off, Koberger's in jail and this guy's walking free. Yeah, it's crazy. I was very distraught, trying to get out of the house. Brian with him being so <laughs> much taller. Rest in peace. Like, holding me up against the wall. The two stories that probably have cut through... He strongest. kept asking me, where's the Dracula? Alice, who was 16 when she had a relationship with Brand, and she accused him of emotional abuse and controlling behavior and sexual assault. And Nadia, a woman who had a relationship she with him in She accused him of being LA, obsessed with the wolf man. In <laughs> in 2012, he kept trying to find silver bullets. <laughs> he pinned home. me to the wall and then one day shoved a wooden stake at my pussy. <laughs> 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 he was obsessed with cloves of garlic. Comedians make allegations about him in their stand-up routines. She says the women who went on the record to the Sunday Times are incredibly brave. It's not just going against somebody with some forms of power. It's going, uh, going against somebody who's got a huge amount of power, actually, and a huge online following. Hello there, you Awakening Wonders. Now, this isn't the usual type of video we make on this channel where we critique... Before the story was published, undermined. Russell Brand denied if the allegations. Say, if you greet people by saying, hello, you Awakening Wonders, that's enough for me to just put him in the yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. fully agree with you. Yeah. 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 Put him in the corner. How are you defending this guy still? Devin? Nobody likes him. I like him. He you fucking sucks. Shut up, dude. I like him quite. Really? I like him quite a bit. <laughs> in it, in I'm quite fond of him. Quite fond of him. And I'm Even not if he's innocent, I want him to be, uh, you know, 
locked in jail. He for used this. to wear big hats. He Here, I hate him so much that I hope these stories are made up, and he gets in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. how much I can't stand this guy. <laughs> Nobody likes. This I think he's very guy. talented. I hope he's falsely accused and gets the electric chair. That's what I want. <laughs> I put a sponge on his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Talent uh. trumps all. I want him to be murdered by firing squad. I want them to bring that back. Well, they, you can do it in Utah. I just looked it up. Can you really? Yeah, you can request to be executed by firing squad That's in Utah. That's absolutely really? how I would do Yeah, it. so you, when you, before you get executed, they make you sign a bunch of papers, and you choose which method of execution you want. Hmm. And you could still, there's some states that allow execution by hanging and firing squad. Idaho just brought it back for Coburg. Really? They want to yeah. shoot so him the fire, against firing the squad? Wow. Yeah, they, br- they made it legal for Coburg. I mean, that's the way to go, in my opinion. I, if, if I were to, I don't trust told, lethal really? injection. I don't trust lethal injection. I would get it because a lot of people say like people actually experience a lot of pain doing that, and the lecture chair seems really painful. And I'm like, fuck, firing squad, you get like nine guys shooting you at once. You're not going to feel a fucking thing. Yeah, Nobody dude, wants if, I, if I hated that guy, though, I'd just be shooting his legs. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, whoops. Yeah. Whoa, fuck, my bad, dude. My, was it? He's like, put me out of my fucking misery. Little, I'm a little rusty. My bad, dude. You know, one second, shoot his big toe off. <laughs> You're whispering to all the guys. You're like, aim low. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the firing squad because you can die cool. Yeah. You can die like... Well, if you yeah. were the one getting the firing squad, <laughs> you know, it's no, you, 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 you look like you're in platoon or something. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, bandana, you die, the cigarette. You die like Clint Eastwood in Gran Torino. That's too, that's too cool. It's too cool. <laughs> Can't have that. Yeah. Can't have that. You know. But, you know, listen. Yeah. Listen, we still have more to hear. <laughs> in a video statement. Amidst this litany of astonishing, rather baroque attacks are some very... Big word. Mm. Big Smart guy. Baroque? Serious allegations that I absolutely... Don't re- act like you're fucking using baroque all the time. <laughs> Did he use... No, 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 no. No, no I wasn't saying you're it like that. Around, I, don't, I don't understand the context. What does that mean? That's <laughs> Jeffy, what I was saying. Jeffy, I think that's a big word. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean it like that. I don't know what it meant. I don't look into it, John. All, right. All I know is it sounded good to me. It sounded crazy. It was British. <laughs> He's fucking British. Like these weird Brad things. the Barack. He's like Barack Obama. During that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. Rosamond Irwin says the Sunday Times team gathered exhaustive evidence about all the alleged victims, including Nadia. She had text messages between him and her where they're talking about what appears to be of the assault. She- wait, wait, wait. What was that uh, text? It was incredibly selfish. I'm sorry that was crazy. So I was hoping for you may know. He probably took the last piece of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. That was crazy and selfish. I hope you can forgive me. And I've, I've gotten those texts the next day from one of my boys. Yeah. I sent that text to you a million times. Yeah, I got no. a little crazy and selfish. And I go, it's okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I ordered I ordered more food than I, I thought. I think he's a guilty scumbag, but that is not a text that no. I'd read and be like, oh, that's a post-rape text. You have the last yeah. Gatorade Zero on Joe's Oh, so you're now on his, you're getting on No, no, I still think here. he's guilty and he's weird and I hate him for who he is, rape or not. But that text is not something that I see and go like, oh, that's from a Well, now we're just judging a book by its cover, okay? Oh, the guy is a rapist because he wore shirts that say I rape. Or the guy (laughs) is a rapist because he, like, raped. Or like the like now it's like kind of crazy like you just hate the way he looks because sure. he's like dressed like a rock star and he had mascara on. Let's move. And his right hair on. was crazy. I oh, the guy's like a this. rapist. I guess he's a rapist. You know. Yeah, you're telling me there's also like these women couldn't have reported it back then and he wouldn't have been found guilty. Like all that hair, all that fucking hair. There's no hair on the crime scene. No DNA. Well, I, they were probably. <laughs> you're right. There probably was DNA, but they didn't report it. That's on them. Well, oh, we could go a big rabbit hole, but all the hair. How come no one's ever? How come, it's, how come like how come fifteen years later is when women wake up? Women rapes? are scared. They're they they don't want to be. They don't want to make a big scene. Yeah. They don't. They're they're afraid. They're like oh, Russell Brand's gonna. Who knows if they're like actresses or something, and Brand's gonna ruin their career. Stuff like that. Fifteen the years t- ago was like what two thousand eight? Was he like a he was like big then? I guess that was when like the the shit was coming out. Like I don't know. Get him to the degree. That was when he was like really famous. Also personally for me, like I get like if somebody did me wrong. And then years and years, and they get more and more annoying. I would eventually be like, enough! This guy raped me! God damn! Yeah, you can't escape them. The worst fucking guy I've ever seen! And he raped me 15 years ago. They're on TV. Yeah, it starts to get obnoxious. I would lose my... If a guy that annoying raped me, it would would, bottle up for a long time. The rape turns Mm -hmm. into more of his his, his body of work. He's continuing to rape you, actually. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. But like, then he kept making stuff, and it felt like, yeah, the rape was a lot worse, actually. Yeah, Yeah. okay, all right, Connor, hey, listen, that's why we brought you in. (laughs) (laughs) 
she had medical evidence. She went to the rape crisis center the next day. She allowed us to see her therapist notes, which is obviously a very intrusive thing. That's a lot um, of evidence. She was willing to share those. Brand has since been dropped by his agent. His live tour has been canceled and London police have announced they're looking into another allegation of sexual assault. The BBC has launched its own investigation into what it knew when Brand was one of its stars between 2006 and 2008. One of his accusers claims she was driven from school to the actor's house in a BBC car when she was 16 Ooh. and he was 30. Ooh. Uh, the Ooh. Age, age of consent in England is 16. So yeah. I, I did a little research. So that, cool. Devin, you sound insane. D <laughs> yeah, it crazy. is the age of consent. Yeah, but that's still weird. That's yeah, but crazy. if you fucked an 18 year old right now, I'd go, what the fuck are you doing? Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of age of consent laws are like, right. uh, what if I go, I go, Jessica, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Open the curtain. It's like I a know. Murray Povich reveal. Ida and I are done for, and I have a new girlfriend now. <laughs> and Connor, you're off the podcast, actually. She's taking your seat. <laughs> I'm just saying that's not technically illegal in Britain. It's not well, right, but you're you're almost not apparently that it's still it's still weird though. Sure, but it's not yeah, rape. No, well, there's there's Romeo and Juliet laws. Crimes, though. There's Romeo and Juliet Juliet laws that literally the age of consent will be like 16 in case like an 18 year old has sex with a girl. But if it's like a 30 year old having sex with a 16 year old, then it's weird. Well, in it's weird, something about it's British illegal. law, still not illegal. No, I think it. I think it's like it's it's those laws are in place to be taken into account in the court of like a rape case. Like I think like you know, thirty five yeah. states in America, age of consent sixteen. I had no. But clue. I think that is Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> I had no clue. Uh, you you did have a clue. You just <laughs> left the fact. I learned it thirty two states. <laughs> I learned it earlier today. He yeah. starts listing them off. Devin, alphabetical order. Devin has that tattooed on his fucking chest. Like <laughs> Devin's on trip advisor. You're like, do you know it's like the age of consent is like sixteen and all these. We're like, how do you know it's thirty two? And he's like, well, this cheat sheet in my back pocket. <laughs> it's like guys that play blackjack. <laughs> Joey, I, Joey, I wrote it in the inside of my water bottle. Like I'm like, taking a test. <laughs> just saying. Uh, the law. So technically, I get what you're saying. Like, no, by the law. They just said that, like, it's a crime, and it's technically not a crime for him to be courting a They're building a But case. did they say that she got... To him being a fucking weirdo. Right. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking... Uh, but that's, I don't, that's crucial information when there's, like, allegations against sure. the guy. I don't, I don't respect British law. That's the other thing. So nobody does, and nobody, nobody should. Nobody fucking respects should. British law. Yeah, who does? But that's just human law. If you're, if TV you're license, 30 fucking a 16-year-old, that's Illegal guns? Brit, Suck my dick. British people. <laughs> fucking fags. There we go, John. Very good. There we go. Very good. You got it back. You're good this There you go. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> they have massive questions to answer and also this is in a context of a tv industry that claims it has God, what a miserable looking she person. looks like russell Brown. god why are they interviewing um, susan you know, boyle so <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ those shoulders Guardian, are made to fucking carry people. pails of and milk the reality is <laughs> that actually you know, what is indulged and allowed to happen is still quite extraordinary. I gotta get back to the rugby scrim. Look at that. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like a raptor trainer in Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dark magician from New Orleans, and I'm here to rape your hey, girlfriend. Like, listen, honey, there's a couple of pterodactyls that are going to join us tonight, and we're going to have a little threesome. Yeah, if you, you know, I love this British whatnot, accent. You, know, <laughs> you don't say anything. <laughs> it's it's all, it's 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 you don't have to say anything. You just go to the, hey, it's yeah. all, hey. the Cockney, like the Guy Ritchie British people, would yeah. say, this is all right. This is all right. All you have to say is all right. Mm -hmm. You say anything. And the rhyming. Mm -hmm. Every guy shit. Richie movie is like that. Just yeah. the camera keeps moving. He's like, "Om the bad guy." Mm -hmm. What was that the fucking one guy. he did? Om the comic. Om. <laughs> what? What you say? Like, what was the most <laughs> recent one he did? <laughs> the Om the comedian. The channel. God, that sucked ass. Om what? the comic. Om the rapist. <laughs> Om the rock star. <laughs> we are all Russell Brand. <laughs> Uh, Look at that. He looks like he owns like a laser gun. <laughs> he looks like he's in Wild Wild West fighting a big spider. 
<laughs> it's like funny. Stephen it's King. funny because like rock and roll persona is so close to magician, and he looks very yeah. much like a magician mm-hmm. most of the time. He's very magician-y. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and magicians are yeah. rapists. He looks like he can yeah. make. He looks like he can make consent disappear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mirrors. He's holding his hand at the at the at the magic castle. <laughs> Oi, love, would you like to see Oi. my penis disappear? Ew. Look at it, love. <laughs> now just just look at my hand there. There now, where's your where's your card? Go on, you've been raped. <laughs> She looks down at his dicks and her pussy. <laughs> he releases doves. He goes, Sodomon. He goes, I, my work is done here. He snaps like, you just got cream pod. <laughs> now check your pussy. It's my cum. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Is this your V card? <laughs> <laughs> now check your purse for your mace and your rape whistle. It, they're gone. <laughs> they're all gone. British comedy circuit say concerns about brands' behavior were widespread. Look at the One emptiness that, in his know, eyes. In I hate how he looks. Nobody's right raping you, bitch. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Jesus wow. Christ. Wow. You know, in, if we were an hour and a half in, I would say that, but not now. That is not okay. She's too busy uh, producing the, the, the uh, track from Hustle and Flow. <laughs> she looks like a serial. DJ Squalls? <laughs> 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 Uh, they talk about Smurf you know, white? which guys should you avoid and which guys have you had problems with and it, you know there are various names that come up regularly and his is absolutely one of them Kate Smurthwaite worked with Russell oh, no. Brand last week she was raped by Hannah Gadsby <laughs> <laughs> says predatory behaviour is common in the industry there were a lot of women in comedy who were really hoping that something like this would happen. And I think there are, and, you know, myself included, there are a lot of women in comedy who are kind of going, oh, great that you did this, but could we please not stop at Russell Brown? Just like the serial killer in Gerald's game. And look around the industry at other performers who <laughs> may be on their foot man. Yeah, you are moonlight. <laughs> What'd you say? She looks like a serial killer in Gerald's game. I never saw that. Yeah. What's that about? You, Living right along. Just right, keep well, going, buddy. I go explain it, John. Bob. Keep going, bud. <laughs> keep going, bud. <laughs> It's likely the Sunday Times will have more revelations about Russell Brand's behaviour. We've had a huge, a huge reaction in a way that I've never seen on any story I've done before. Um, and among those are women making fresh allegations, people that we didn't ever speak to, um, that we didn't ever find or we didn't know existed, frankly. And obviously we have to scrutinise those in the exact same way. <laughs> Oh, you got a tissue, where would you like to put it? Can I help you with that? <laughs> Should I explain what's on it before I give it to you? Oh, yeah. Very good, Russell. It's a good joke. He's talented, man. <laughs> Russell <Brand has laughs> Australia many times. Yes. Are there any leads that have come to you about women who may have been abused in Australia? Yes, and actually long before this story, uh, I mean, every woman out. in Australia has been abused. Yeah, they get abused by tarantulas. What are you talking about the population here? I mean, yeah. Joseph Fritzl has them, like, in a fucking cellar somewhere. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I haven't thought about that guy in fucking years. Who's Joseph Fritzl? Wow. He was an Australian, like, serial rapist. Austrian. Oh, he was the Austrian. Austrian. Okay, he was Austrian. Yeah, yeah. Everybody thought he was Australian. He had, like, a family Why'd of inbred was... people in a basement for, like, eight years. Why they all think he was Australian? Because it was Austrian, but retards online just thought he was uh, Australian. So he was, like, he was, like, the Jeez, Austrian. How the fuck did you bust? Well, it wasn't Joseph even the right Fritzl. He, I thought he was Australian, so Crazy. I was wrong, but it's a classic reference. That is a classic that was, reference. God was, damn. I'll do another reference. He was the Austrian Israel Castro. Hmm? Damn it. I don't know that. I don't know that. You don't know about the Cle- the Cle- the king of Cleveland? The real king? Oh wait, the the, the Nazi? No. Who? Like the running the out Nazi. the Israel Castro, the guy in Cleveland that had a basement full of uh, women. Oh, yeah, and they oh yeah. yeah, the girl ran out. They ran out and the, dude, the uh, black dude yeah, yeah. eating McDonald's a guy girl like, wants to came a black and called guy. the cops. By the yeah. way, that chick, once she escaped, they started like interviewing her, and it was immediately clear like she was really fucked up. Well, they interviewed her, and she was like, Russell Brand, write me. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, that I that was she, she. I think she had a rough life. That's exactly. Yeah. No, that was the creepiest part of the whole thing. Is like uh, they started like, like mentally. Talking. It seemed like he beat the fuck out of her, and like she was like she had like um, yeah, I mean, she brain was, damage from getting beaten. Or oh, something. it's so sad, dude. Jesus. It was super fucked up. Uh, yeah, damn. that's fucked up, dude. It Back to the rape. <laughs> <laughs> Under a lighter, Jesus. Yeah, yeah God. There was a lead I was actually chasing quite hard in Australia and couldn't get anywhere with. 
But again, we'll have to do the exact same work. It would be incredible if they cut to an interview with a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoa, what the hell? Shut up. So, hey, what do we say? Guilty or innocent? What do you think, uh, Devin? Guilty as hell. I guilty. say guilty. Yeah. Devin? Jury's still out. <laughs> No, I really, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, I just, I just don't think, I don't think everyone on earth is a rapist. And I, 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 I don't either, but I, I think Russell Brand is. <laughs> yeah, I still need more. Who's saying everyone is? I mean, yeah. dude, just in the clip they more. showed alone, he was like, all my relationships have been consensual. And then they show him like forcing his mouth onto another lady's mouth. Yeah, yeah. That alone, I would never do shit like that. You would never do shit like that. Yeah, but he said some great things about. I like how he skipped over he us. Dude. He was just like Connor's, like me and Devin would never do that. Well, I mean, because well, you guys, we all agree he's guilty. He said, "Yeah, yeah sure." Guilty. I was lumping us into one conscious. Oh, word! Mind. It was a group thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, Connor. Thanks, Connor. Sure, have that opinion. Wait till you see this. Uh oh. <laughs> Hello, you awakening the wonders. Gun. Obviously, it's been an extraordinary and distressing week, and I thank you very much for your support and for questioning the information that you've been presented with. By now, you're probably aware that the British government have asked big tech platforms to censor our online content and that some online platforms have complied. And that's 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 not OK. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, just, that's kind of wild. Just because he raped? Because it was an allegation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying truly, actually. Allegations don't mean you're. Like, what happened yeah. to court of law? Like, what happened yeah, to yeah. innocent until proven guilty? They're now just. You can. You, there can be old 15 year old allegations coming out against you, and you are a guy that disturbs the mainstream. I don't get they why, don't why, like why are tax dollars going stop towards it? You? Why do they care? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Why are tax dollars being spent on some fucking that's low grade a, government employee? Like it's going to hurt a tourism. Well, that's all, yeah. all I'm saying is that that type of shit makes me wonder where I'm like, why are, Why is that their immediate goal? Their that's immediate weird. goal is to demonetize him. They're immediately sending, like they, they drop this article, they drop this, this story, and then a day later they're messaging YouTube and, and the, the British government is like, stop, make him, make him not. He can't make money on YouTube. It's he can't strange. make money on Rumble. He can't make money on all I, these things. It's crazy. I do agree that that's very that's odd. Weird. Yeah, that's Only little shit like that is where I'm like, okay, interesting. Because even is like the U.S. The U.S. government has never stepped in and been like, no, the U.S. Hey, government doesn't give a shit. Exactly. They just want to give stinger missiles to Ukrainians. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck about <laughs> race. Well, that's why care. we're better. That's why we're better. We yeah. love so, honestly, so how about they spend some money sending me? fucking stinger missiles to Ukraine? We fucking love rape. He's going to be a member of Congress soon. Yeah. <laughs> He's on the Supreme Court. Jesus Christ. They'll make him president. Oh, yeah. What about our president's rape case with Tara Reid? That's not that's nothing. But when it's Trump, he's a rapist. It's, it's, it's all it's like you do have to wonder, like, how come it's always like when it's convenient for the proper side? What you know? is Tara Reid? What is that? Who is Tara Reid's Joe Biden's rape? Oh, I didn't uh, know and also, Joe Biden has way creepier footage of him with little girls than oh, Donald Trump ever had. Well, it's because the far left controls a lot of the media yeah it's a it's a it's a liberal there we go it's the far the libs it's the goddamn far left it's the goddamn libs. It's the left the left the right up down up down <laughs> side to side x y folks i'm getting dizzy all right I mean, <laughs> sometimes i let me vertigo here pal <laughs> I look over at Connor sometimes when we do this show, and, and I go, you sure you want to be a part of this? <laughs> <laughs> I was at his apartment the other day, and hang on, I, I went in there. They have this beautiful apartment, two-bedroom, and he's got this great fiancé. And I'm like, what a sweet little life you have. And then I'm thinking, like, you're going to go down to this basement with us. Yeah. And you're going to listen to John. Yeah. Probably... Yeah, say some crazy. You're gonna stuff, have like serial killers hitting you up on Instagram. You have to consider this. I hate my apartment. I hate my fiance. I hate my dog. So <laughs> this is. I'm so happy to be here, guys. You love Cypress Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He lo Connor loves the fans. Yeah, <laughs> the supporters. All right, let's. Can we get to? Uh, okay, Russell Brand's gonna like change your mind. Yeah, yeah. he's minutes. got the hands out. Like Waiting to catch a football. With that request. What you may not know is that this happens in the context of the Online Safety Bill, which is a piece of UK legislation that grants sweeping surveillance and censorship powers, and it's a law that has already been passed. I also don't imagine you've heard of the Trusted News Initiative. Hold through those hands. This is often the case when a word like trusted <laughs> is used as part of an acronym to describe an unelected body. Trust is the last thing you should be offering. Smart. Yeah, he's smart you know. guy. 
big, I'm, I'm like acronym, about to puke. Big word. All right. Acronym's crazy. Mm. I hate everything about this man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just really hate him. Look at his fucking teeth. He He's looks got like a, a nice gerbil. house plant for the oxygen in the house. He, you know, house plants help provide oxygen. Sure. Mm-hmm. He knows how to keep a good good place. Mm. Good well, stu- he's got to stay healthy and strong because he's got to keep raping. He's got to rape all night. You never want to get weaker than the victims. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Trusted News Initiative is a collaboration between big tech and legacy media organizations to target, control, choke, and shut down independent media organizations. Like this one. We'll be talking about that on like our hey show watch. on Monday on Rumble. Joe, we're next. Joey, could you not lump us in with this? Listen, we're next. I, listen, I can't help it. Just wait till mine come. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait till mine come. I'm and already I, contacting I even, the BBC. And I don't even speak to women. <laughs> wait till mine come is a crazy thing to say. No, I know it's a crazy thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, just wait. Wait till they come for me because I speak. I speak no. truth to power. <sighs> wait till they come I for hate me that. because I come. I you know because I, I you know you my, my bits because I, I come because I'm my come come. <laughs> wait till they come. Come come for Deb Deb. Joey, it could happen. Yeah, I'm, I've been and waiting. We it. all know if it happens to me. It's a definite lie because I don't even fucking listen to any. I don't. I don't even look at women. Yeah, yeah. You hate them. Yeah. The only women I ever <laughs> care about on any level are Connor's girlfriend and my girlfriend. They're the and my mom. Every other woman I'm ever around, I stare straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, Is this over yet? Can I get back to the boys? What like, about, like what about Ben's wife? Oh, Katie as well. God, that was so mean to Katie. That wasn't mean. Yeah, that I wasn't forgot. mean. No. Yeah, three. The big three. The big three. Okay. The, the big, big three. three. Very good. Sure. The big three. But the rest. Blinders. The, the rest can less. kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. Your girlfriend, too, I guess. Ah, uh, thank you. Jeez, That's I so guess. Nice. Yeah. Wow. You know. Beautiful. Kevin met her Beautiful. for about like I met her for 30 five seconds. seconds, but yeah. yeah. She seemed really nice to she you. She seemed yeah. sweet. She did say some things about Russell Brand. <laughs> <laughs> She's the best. But just to give you an idea of what the TNI is, this is. A quote from one of their spokespeople. Because the actual real rivalry now is not between the BBC and CNN globally, Damn, it's God. actually between Fuck yeah, all it's those weird trusted ones, news providers and digital platforms. It's clear that these organizations collaborate in constructing narratives. The most guilty thing about him is his hands here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's doing some weird, it's like... It's an uncomfortable... He's doing rape hands. He's doing the bored Hitler. It's rape hands. Yeah. <laughs> It's Ray Pants. I will say the one thing I like about him is the beard. He's got a good beard. He's a cult I like leader. the Sean Connery, like where it's white at some parts. Oh, I the mean, Sean Connery in The Rock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think we could watch it, but like honestly, I got to tell you, his performance on Real Time, he got good. real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. He spoke truth to power. I don't know. I'm just sick of everybody that says things that I'm like, hell yeah. And the, the three weeks later, they're like, oh, he's Ted Bundy. It's really not that hard to own like stuff. an MSNBC talk show. Yeah, it's not hard to but own. But he just ben articulated Affleck. his thoughts right. so yeah. well and properly and like on the spot. And well, he went to a very probably very nice schools and shit. Like the guy's not I, dumb. I don't like schools defined. No, no, no. People. But but, but this guy, this mean? guy's so this guy's not dumb. He was horny for like ten years. He went crazy, yeah. and then he realized he got tired of being horny. As one as it happens, when you fuck too many people, right. you get tired of fucking. And then eventually he's like, okay, I'm gonna put all my mental equity. That's now my thing. And now his past is catching up to him. That's what happened to Richard Ramirez yeah. as well. Exactly. <laughs> he kind of looks like Richard Ramirez. You're, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Word to the wise. Your past catches up with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, folks? Okay, kids? You yeah. keep saying weird cryptic stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm getting really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> your, your past will catch what up What have you, you done in the past that My you... past will catch up to me. <laughs> I mean, we have a couple more years of doing this show. <laughs> <laughs> done more. I'm finished. It's over. If I got canceled, it would be a bunch of women in the New York Times. Like, he called me a retard. <laughs> <laughs> what he said shit about up, bitch. He refused to make eye contact with me. And, <laughs> and he forgot my name. He never said bye. It's a big blog about how you took their takeout and you put it in your trunk and locked <laughs> it. Because <laughs> you paid and you wouldn't let them have it. He ate 17 of my fries one night <laughs> delivering Postmates. <laughs> Yeah, no. I mean, 
No, I'm just being honest. Like we gotta, like we gotta. Hopefully, the Patreon can go up soon because, like, I'm gonna need bail. Money. This is such a crazy goof to do about yourself. Yeah, who cares? Because I'm, yeah. I'm confident in myself. You're twisted. Well, the funny thing is, if anything ever does come out about you, this is clipped up and put out there, and you're the guiltiest man of all time. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> but I love comedy. <laughs> He's doing it for the jokes. I love art. I'll do it. Anyway. It would be so beautiful though if there was an accusation on like you know yeah. NBC, it's just you being like, "My day of reckoning is coming," <laughs> and I'm warning you guys now. Wait till mine come out. <laughs> you know, one day I must, I must pay the fiddler at some point. Here's the thing, and this is gonna sound good. Men never accuse you of rape. <laughs> I've been talking to the BBC for the last okay. week, Devin. No, you rape me all the time. I never said a goddamn thing about it. Men are afraid to ever come out with their rape uh, rape, uh, allegations. What, is Terry Crews going to come for me, huh? And I touched touched his ass, the Americana. If you raped Terry Crews, that'd be the most impressive thing I've ever seen. (laughs) That'd be so fucking funny. (laughs) I raped Terry Crews. Also, by the way... (laughs) You wouldn't wouldn't go to jail. You'd get like a WWE title belt. That's what you would get. (laughs) I go like this. I walk into court. (laughs) Yeah, no, no. I think that if I did get raped by a man, though... (laughs) <laughs> I think that I would get over it in two weeks. Yeah, no, same. Right? Yeah. Absolutely not. That would ruin my life. I, I what, believe so it would ruin the your context? life. So I, so I, if a man walking, held me down and fucked me in the ass... I'm talking about. Someone. I would never recover. That's I'm talking so, about like I'm that jogging. Is true. I'm jogging at a park. You're jogging and a guy puts a knife with a knife, throat? yeah, rapes me. Dude, you'd be so... Actually, no, you're, you're out of head. your fucking mind. No, yeah, I'm getting, yeah, he no. beats me bad. I'm like... I, I I break my orbital. Yeah, that yeah. alone. I, I that alone is hard pie. to recover. That's I get hard. cream pie. No, no, no. You <laughs> get cream pie. <laughs> but no. So like my sounds like a weird. Devin's like, getting horny. He's getting horny. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's like, no. He ties me down. He handcuffs me to the bedpost. Joey, yeah. were you in? Were you in Central Park uh, a few weeks ago? <laughs> yeah, but no. I think you that get cream pie. I get cream pie. <laughs> I think I would go home and I'd be like, fuck it, I didn't get killed. Right, exactly. I, I, that, <laughs> night, that night, I would be in a terrible mood. Connor has a real yeah. problem with this because Connor knows that they do a lot more to him because he's like the most handsome guy here. Yeah. Connor, Connor like, That's why Connor hates man rape yeah. so much because he's like, they would take Connor look home. at me, dude. They like, would they'd, take they'd, Connor home. They'd take me home. It'd be like room. They'd I think like, out, out, out of all of us, though, shit. Connor's probably the, the one who could resist the rape the most. Also no, that. No, I, could, I could resist. Oh, you have a wrestling background. But I have some jits. In his quest to resist the rapes with all the working out gets guy horny yeah. it gets the men horny it's a it's a double how do you it's how, a double how, how do they get in though can't you just running through the park oiled up <laughs> can't you just squeeze your asshole <laughs> like can't you just squeeze your ass this might have to be a Patreon. This is our crazy. This is episode. great. No, no this, this is, is classic. <laughs> Very rape. I don't. Heavy I episode. don't get how you can't just squeeze your ass unless they have like coconut Gray, oil. How about how they're fucking donkey punching? Yeah, dude. yeah. But if I You're squeeze my ass, well, if they fuck me if I'm if I'm unconscious, then whatever, dude. I wake up. I, that's right. That's I, I deal I'm with the thinking. cream pie, right. and then I fucking go. <laughs> you shit out the cum and you go I back mean, to your day. You <laughs> <laughs> You go, you go to Starbucks and go, what's the code for the bathroom? I gotta shit this gum out. Holy shit. <laughs> the woman at McDonald's like, is there melted candle wax on your chest? <laughs> yeah, All things right. got crazy back there. I got a broken orbital bone. Here's how we move forward. Uh, I was dying to know. If we were... <laughs> if we were grape. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Uh, yeah, 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 now yeah, it's yeah. fine. Very good, yes. Now we're fine. <sighs> okay, the people, the you, you do, the YouTubes. That's a lot. Yeah, no problem that. with this. Hey, rape is a rape is a word. Grape is a grape. Grape grape is a word. Mm-hmm. That's it's, what they say. Hey, sorry, censors. We figured out how yeah. to bypass. Sorry, I don't, know. I don't British think government. I don't think saying <laughs> the R word is is a thing on YouTube. Why did you just no. blur it then? Why did you say R word? Retard. Wow, huh? getting scared, huh? Uh, Sounds yeah. like you're scared. It's like you shook, dude. Listen, we only have a few more years of this podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. I love doing it because uh, I'm the only person that's like, I, I, I'm like fully confident because I hate women so much. I wouldn't <laughs> even rape them. <laughs> yeah, you hate them so much that you wouldn't rape them. Yeah. Yeah. I, they're so annoying. You I, rape I, men. I, I'm like always fascinated to find out like any man has ever raped a woman. Like I like don't care. Like I love who I love. I love the women I've met that I like want to bring in. The yeah. three you mentioned. The three I mentioned. 
But I don't like try or care. like I don't understand. Pussy's not good enough to have my life <laughs> to force ruined. your force like, your way into I've it. I've never yeah. understood like needing pussy that well, think, bad to like have my life ruined and rapists, be a criminal. Rape. Rapists only can come if they're raping. Yeah, like the Richard Maris could only come if he could see the white of a woman. Exactly. Eyes, yeah. See, they, that's his fetish. Yeah. Where there's where there's grape, there's rape. Yeah. Like some guys are into tits. Where other there's guys... smoke, there's fire type of thing. Like when yeah. any when any if anyone's been accused of of rape, it's likely true because like why? Sure. Other than mm. with, of course, you know. Masterson, Masterson, Kobe, Coburger, uh, or Coburger Coburg written no in. He didn't rape. No rape. That's why he's so gay. He wouldn't rape a fly. Why? Well, what? You still <laughs> gay? <laughs> Coburger's gay because he didn't rape any of those women. <laughs> it is weird. Very good. You just kill them all. Well, there was a guy that he could rape if he was. Well, gay. he had limited amount of time to. You raped the last one. I could come in like two minutes. (laughs) Anyway, all right. Yeah, maybe this is a Patreon. (laughs) Yeah, this is bad. Wow, we're really going at it today. I also think it might be Patreon. I think so. I think it's public, dude. I think it's a public. Let's go. Let's fucking go. We're going hardcore here. Let's do it. Whether that's around the war or the pandemic, and of course there are other examples, and it's very clear to me that we have to be very, very cautious indeed. That's why I'm asking you to follow me on Rumble. Yeah, it's great. Rumble they have teeth have twice the size of our commitment teeth. To free yeah, but usually they're all fucked they're up fake. and crooked. Yeah. They're oh, they're fake? fake? I think they're oh, like, yeah, they're no, probably, yeah, yeah, they're probably sure. like veneers, yeah. Well, I don't know if they're veneers because his mouth, his lips Full screen. If you can afford bit. veneers, you have veneers. Unless you just got lucky and you have good teeth. I don't think those are veneers. I think he just gets a lot of work done on his teeth. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Just brushed. Mm. Just yeah. brushed, yep. The only British man to brush his teeth. That we will be streaming from. We'll be back this Monday. He's saying nothing. And as usual, yeah, that's yeah. What I'm we'll be this talking time. about deep state and corporate collusion. Deep state, and how hell ordinary yeah, democracy is anathema now. How it's shut down, ignored. That's a big word. I'm going to rape the deep He's state. He's very smart. <laughs> deep state, big word. Sure, that's nobody. Yeah. No, no one says that. Nobody says deep state. <laughs> There's not eight trillion posts on eight tran. No. <laughs> Oh fuck! I can already picture like all the guys that make clips is making clips of me and me, uh, <laughs> pretending that I'm. <laughs> no. JP Ryder Morgan's making yeah. one right now. Make some good clips, like, guys. Just, the title is like, "What has Devin done?" <laughs> I can already see it. Yeah. And avoided. We'll be talking about a military-industrial complex. That is able yeah. to facilitate. How about we stop talking about small potatoes and talk about the military-industrial complex? Okay. Yeah, he's like, that's how you, like, uh, that's your diversion from a rape accusation. <laughs> you just go, what about the yeah, war? You got fucking Bush to 9 yeah, 11. Yeah, you fucking wait, Sean. Kills him out of rape, and you just beat me right insult the country and the south the world. This war. Did you accuse me of rape? <laughs> Meanwhile, you drop bombs on countries, and it's a might as well be to, like, govern. That's country rape. War for profit? Or did I raise it? I don't know. War for <laughs> profit. Rape or war for profit? I mean, you tell me what's worse. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets lost in his own conversation. He's like, hey, so I'm the first guy ever to rape. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Let's take and start wars that seem sometimes to be little more than money laundering operations. Shut up. Matt, with all respect. I do love this. God. He's like, rape? It's a war by ivermectin. <laughs> 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 You remember the pandemic? <laughs> so Joe Rogan can say the N-word, but I can't rape a few ladies. <laughs> Khashoggi. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of victims of the numerous ongoing wars in the world at the moment. We'll be talking about the role of Big Pharma and how Big Pharma have been able to influence what an amazing government juke. policy. Great juke. What a phenomenal. He's bringing it's like up a Heisman like the top trophy. five, like big pharma, like, you know, government corruption. Yeah, he's killing it right Military now, yeah. industrial complex. Yeah, yeah, he just broke the British government's ankles, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Around the world and how they've been able to evade due liability and necessary scrutiny. How they've been able to avoid media investigation that perhaps ought to be due them. Should be focused on me. And of course, we'll be talking about media corruption and censorship. So please follow me on Rumble, because <laughs> that's the only way that we can The keep swan it. song of every great You're man. Right. It is a whole follow other thing. Follow me on I Rumble. Know. You know, I'm starting to think, fucking, I'm just, yeah. 
It's a rapist credo. I feel like being rumble. Follow me on rumble. I feel like soon Russell Brand will be accused of rape now. After mm. I, I would like a, a new like male rape scandal. Can we It'd be cool if it was public. The only one we ever had was Terry Crews saying like he like kicked off like a guy touched his ass. Brandon I'm, ta- I'm talking. I'm talking Frage. about. Frage. I'm talking about like male prison rape style, like in celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, like fucking uh, like deliverance rape. Exactly. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, I do, I do think male prison rape is the funniest Charlie thing Sheen. of all time. It's Charlie impossible Sheen. to not. Think I it's, just, it's I just have really never hard. been that mad at a guy. I know. Like that's impossible for me to be like, God, I hate this guy. I'm gonna fuck him in the ass. Like that's so <laughs> impossible for me to imagine. You know what I mean? It's they're not raping out of anger. It's horniness. No, they're raping out of anger. No, oh, in are. prison they it's are. out they of are. anger. It's, it's a punishment. Like, yeah. It's a oh. humiliating punishment. Because like also like a lot of guys won't get debts paid unless they like that's the ultimate threat. It's yeah. like I'm gonna rape you. But here's if what you don't I pay your debt. Here's Yeah, what I but the first guy the first guy was probably a little horny. Oh, for sure. There, oh, there, was, like, there was like a beef listen. in prison, and they're like, what are we going to do to the new guy? We can shank Connor, him. Two plus two doesn't always equal four, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> well, so one it's guy, always a cock. One guy had to speak up. Yeah. yeah. They're like, what's your idea? Shank like, him? What are we going to do to this like, guy? And one guy's like, I'll fucking come in his ass. How about that? I'll fucking. <laughs> like, wait, what did you? What did you just? I'm, this might sound crazy, but I'll, I'll fucking bust in his ass if that's what we have to do, guys. And they're like, Ooh. no one wants to. He's like, all right, I'll fuck him. I, I got to do it. <laughs> And he just falls in love. Like, should we know? draw but, straws? Or he's like, no, I got this. <laughs> I'll take point on this one, guys. Yeah. I'll bust. It is, okay, but the guys that, that, that rape men in prison uh, out of anger, how do they get hard? Is it just because they like haven't come? I think it'd be it's fun. like There's a hole in front yeah. of him. Yeah, sure. it's got to be shave? that. They I mean, have to also be horny a little I, bit. I could yeah. only, like, if I was in prison, like I could, it, it better be an Asian man. <laughs> They need to be like yeah. hairless and like have like no bones. At the very least, a like, Filipino. Where like their back kind of looks like a woman's back. They're like, what are you going to do to the new guy? And they're like, what is he? He's like, he's a Latin king. He's like, mm, not my type. I can't do that. that. What am I supposed to when I come on the MS13 <laughs> sign? Like, you know, on his back? I mean, the 13's two tits. You like turn side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't um, know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey. Crazy world. Though, how about this? You know, BTK's daughter is hot now. Oh, oh my very god! Very good. Yes, Joey. This is crazy. So BTK's daughter. We did an episode on her uh, about what a month ago. And I'm fully convinced, by the way, that so we did a whole bit. F Mary Bind. It was F. Mary uh, Bind. we weren't allowed Fuck to post it because we got banned. It got posted late, and then nobody really watched it because it was like released at the same time as another one or something. But we had this whole bit about how uh, BTK's daughter, who's trying to get famous on BTK's name looks exactly like BTK mm-hmm. and we were saying like you can't have those eyebrows and wear his exact glasses mm-hmm. and have that face and not expect people to just go like oh the, you know is that BTK like it's they like put a little BTK, thick mustache yeah. on her and then people started tagging her in the clip and I am a hundred percent yeah oh wow and she doesn't have a lot of followers like I, I am a 100 percent you think the hate watch podcast influenced BTK's daughter to get her shit together yeah I think she was she's, telling me this and I believe it yeah. I think she's online all the time because she's obsessed with this shit total nerd discord total nerd, fucking sure. nerd and I guarantee you she saw this and then so if you go back and watch that episode, you'll see she looks exactly like that. She does. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now, skip to when she's talking. She's done like a whole makeover. She's like, hey, right. watch podcasts. Cold cases are looking at details wow. in a lot of these. Oh, look, it's BTK. Harry, you whoa. Get more of these wow. Oh, look at hoodie. her. Oh, no, it's her hair. <laughs> what a whoa, whoa, whoa. God, she's fucking what hot. Wow. Dude. Can you describe hey, for me uh, what you don't let Russell me. Brand see this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what a glow up. Hey, why is Emily? Radikowski talking about <laughs> BTK. <laughs> Holy shit. Took the glasses oh, off. Um, got contacts? What do you think? And Con- she did an eyebrow thing, and she's got like a filter and makeup, and sure, no. her hair is different. Yeah. Good evening, Ashley. Um, this is probably only about a handful of pictures. Um, when I uh, flew into Osage, uh, they started showing me all of my dad's records. Uh, there's probably about two hundred cool photos that my dad's taken. <laughs> She's hot. Um, it's really important. Pretty girls have like a hot goth. That taken by yeah. my father. She's like a viral dude. Uh, he used as a boy. He stuff around. He did these at hotels. He did these in churches that he broke into. He did them in our church. He did them in my home when we were gone. He did them in Russell um, Brand's house. He actually did one in my um, college dorm room when I was out shopping with my mom. <laughs> what the fuck is BTK up to, dude? 98. You can no good. what he's doing with. <laughs> what the fuck is that? The mummy? BTK wasn't good. No. 
That's a dead body, John. Why are they playing that on the news? Um, his or, may, or maybe it's fake. Um, that was like, like a, a graveside, I think. So what we, what we, the public is not seeing is, is evidence right now. What the in these fuck cases is this? BTK does stuff like this. And we're oh, these are dummies that they, they're, they're uh, reenacting. No, no, B, th- these are BTK's pictures, I think. Yeah, but they're dummies. I think they they're dummies. dummies. No, yeah, but yeah. He, but they, they wouldn't show they wouldn't show. No, no, but I'm saying... BTK had dummies. Like, the, I think he set that up and uh, took the pics. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. How do you get a dummy into her college now, dorm? Now, a missing person. He's can find a um, way, dude. He's with possibly he's these sneaking photos. into your house. And, and yeah, how do you get away with all those murders? <laughs> also? And you can match them with timeline. And so we're seeing... Like in Garber's case, uh, she I'm getting horny, dude. Maybe Honestly, we're gonna watch something else. Yeah, she's also doing crazy. like it's like sexy talk. She's talking um, sexy. Um, I have to go to the bathroom, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the anchor's like, oh, hang on one second, Carrie. Uh, the Ford anchor, she's on the on the line. They 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 need to talk to you right now. She's like, you're gonna come in 30 seconds. I really, I <laughs> I can't believe the glow up on uh, Carrie Raider. Good for her. Good for her. I'm gonna jerk off Jones? to that later. Um, I mean, I got like plenty of stuff here, you know. It's like, no, the the party never stops, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. John, I found your uh, I found the guy that raised you. Hell yeah, this dude. Man that reviews shits. <laughs> Dave <laughs> and Buster's. <laughs> <Literally. laughs> There's a guy that goes uh, around Dave and Buster's reviewing people shit. Oh uh, God, I text. <sighs> so I'm at this casino and um, <laughs> I went to use the bathroom. I went into the handicap stall. Yeah, There's that. already big, like somebody. Mistake. Yeah. This all uh, next to mine. Also, if this guy looked like anything else, I would be confused. <laughs> yeah, this exactly. is what you said what the video was. So I was like, Of course, yeah. of course it's him. I had a mental image and that's exactly what he looked like. Yeah, yeah. I like how he also said like I went into the handicap so like so he saw like like a handicap <laughs> shit. Like the shit has crutches. Amazing. Oh this guy kicks God. ass. And uh the guy was taking a dump and <laughs> This is John. Is this literally? Is this Lear Dad? Dude, no. My, well, my that's where the my, my obsession. By the way, we've shit. never admitted what John's dad duh, like did. You know, in his career. Yeah, I, I thought we did. We did, but like yeah. we were lying. This is actually. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My it's dad on IMDb. Shit. This guy. This is uh well, it's like it's actually like a hereditary thing. It's kind of like that. It, yeah, it's like what, the movie but, shit. No, yeah, no, just like telling each other about our shits. All the men in my family are just oh, like I, t- I remember the day I took the biggest shit of my life. I'll be taking a day. dump and I'll hear like a knock, 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 and it's just John going like, "Dude, how's that fucking trick going?" No, I literally. <laughs> like, how's, how's the first push? Said, <laughs> said, how's the first push? Yeah. John yeah. texts us every day. He's like, "I'm taking a sh- wicked shit right now." You're like, yeah. "Why are you telling us?" And we're like, "Hell I want yeah, you to be happy." Brother, I, I, I will happy. also let people know what's going on. I, I'll text you saying I'm fighting for my life right now. Yeah, really? yeah, if yeah. you're already texting us, you'll be like, hey, this is what's going on. John will hit us up out of nowhere and just yeah. be like, hey, guys. Taking a horrific I have yeah. friends to this day that I still send photos of my shit to. That's I, fine. I've never done that to them because I feel like they would abandon me. I go, brother, I you that. gotta check this one out. And they go, holy shit. That would be less yeah. weird than what you already do. There's me. a lot of shit I take that look like beached whales. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Wow, really? Yeah. Like, 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 con- like, literally. Like like, wait, John, you're shit? taking a yeah. shit and you look at the toilet, you're like, is that me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You Holy try and, shit, you, is that me? Yeah. You try and help it into the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like kids, there's kids throwing buckets of water on it. People throwing water on it so it can survive. <laughs> Fire department's there. <laughs> nah, there's been some shits where I thought, like, I need to break that up before it won't go down. Have you actually, like, I've done to- that probably once or twice. I, I, I. What do you use? Plunger. You kind of just use the fucking brush. You know, oh, God. And you just pray to God. Sure. I had a friend know. growing up uh, whose sister would shit like once every seven days. Was she on Oxycontin? No, she was young. We we're kids. Interesting. And uh, <laughs> it, would, it was like one time the whole family was like, you got to come see this. And it was, it looked like a basketball. It was the. Wow. Like, I don't know how it came out of a human body. And so was it a swirl or was it a solid one? Solid. It was just like a Damn. ball, dude. And his Good dad God. took like he took like an ice pick to it. <laughs> we all watched. Like we all watched like it was like a guy doing like an operation in the nineteen twenties. <laughs> Going to the gallery. I will start with my first incision here. Yeah. It's like the first ever open heart surgery. Yeah, yeah. Really. Yeah. People watch. It was Called like the, the Nick. Yeah. You know? Called him Clive Owen. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. John Thackeray is on the case and uh and he broke it up, and then he flushed it, and then he did the most insane thing where he, we were like, oh, it's so gross. He goes, no, the water's clean. I swear to God, and I've said this on a podcast before, but he took a ladle 
Shut the fuck up. Into the toilet bowl and then drank the water <laughs> to prove to prove that it was good clean water. It's a hundred kicks is, ass, which, dude. <laughs> which has never been the case. Toilet bowl water is not clean. No, the tank the is, tank is oh. clean. But kind it, of it maybe. Hit me like a ton of bricks years later. I was like, he straight up just drank his daughter's like shit residue. That were all shit. Yeah. Your friend's that is Tom Pearl. It's <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, dude. Now that's that's probably <laughs> a, a, la- like I, a ladle. Has he, he been arrested or anything? No, no, no. Now, do you know? Have you checked? I don't think so. That's the I would look him behavior. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? I know. Why did he do that? Well, I don't know prove, why it was so prove what? I don't know. What was the proving point there? To kind of prove him. that it was gone, I guess. I don't, dude. I. That's so cool. It might have been not, like a good day. He might have been wow. trying to be like a like he's like a retarded guy, obviously. Yeah. But he was like trying to he's like trying to prove he was trying to make his daughter feel better because maybe everyone was like mate laughing at the yeah. giant shit. So he's sure. like he's like. No, look, it's not. <laughs> yeah. It's not that it's not that gross. That is the last thing a daughter wants yeah. to feel better. It's like my dad to drink my shit water in front of all she my goes, friends. She goes back to her room and she she puts her she puts her hands behind her head on the pillow and she goes she's like smiles. She's like, My dad's so, <laughs> so great. Well, it must be pretty brutal for a daughter to uh, watch her dad drink shit water and then have to read him green eggs and ham. That's yeah. not fun. <laughs> I can't Holy believe fuck. that. I know. That's, ins- that's the most insane story I've ever that's heard. Crazy. That's crazy. Besides a number of other stories that you have, and we'll only <laughs> oh, tell them on the, on the Patreon. Ooh, we should talk Killing about all the man in the woods. We should do the Patreon. No, 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 For another no. time, but you killed a little man in the woods. Because he wouldn't let you skateboard in the Patreon.com. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kill a man. It's beyond yeah, the statute yeah. of limitations. He, no, it's. I don't think it is. But There's also, no statute of limitations I, on murder. Really? Patreon.com slash no. watch podcast. <laughs> Connor, killed, <laughs> Connor killed an old man in the woods. In so Tahanga. this is the public then, officially. You never know, but yeah, probably. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah, we we, got we to see what we can get away with here. Yeah, we got. We didn't really do anything. I don't really know if talking. I, I think it's we've been like we've been fucked with because of like violent clips and stuff. We didn't really watch any violent. I don't stuff think today. this has been bannable. I just think that we've been saying such insane stuff that for our own good, perhaps we should hide it behind nah. the paywall. Like me? Yeah. Doing an obvious joke. I don't. I mean, obvious joke. It's nah. obvious to me, and it's obvious to everybody who knows you because we know you're the sweetest boy in town. Yeah. Well, what's gonna happen? Nobody's out there. There's no one to no say. No one's anything. out there. Oh no, I don't think you're gonna get. Uh, I don't think rape. Uh, um, you know, accusers are rape. rape accusers are going to surface. I just don't know. I'll tell. I'll tell the. Uh, this is what I'll tell the judge. I go. They heard it through the grapevine. Very good. <laughs> yes. No, I think it's fine. It's actually funny. It's fine. It's, rid- being... it's ridiculous. We've. It's so funny. Uh, hey, watch Lemon Party every episode. We go. Is we are. We've. There's not a single episode where there isn't something that's like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, sure. No. Like this you whole could... idea that we're like, we got. Well, that should go behind. That's a little crazy. They're all completely insane. Mm-hmm. We are absolute retards. Yeah. And we've said every single thing. I never worry about myself. I'll way. say the worst thing ever, and I'll just be like, I don't care. Yeah. You but called so- in bomb threats to your job. I said right. everything exactly. right. I mean, we, Literally to your job. You got fired for calling in bomb threats. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's incredible. Work. Yeah, I like how I just told a shit story, and you're like, yeah, and you calling bomb threats, and I said the craziest <laughs> thing you've ever heard. Well, you did kill an old man in the woods as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the woods. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it was a it was a barren, a de- it was like a desert. It, it was, was a dry. trailer park in Sunland. It was... <laughs> It was a crack house in Sun Valley. Uh, uh, okay. Do you want to tell it here? No, I know. No, we'll tell it Patreon Patreon only. Um, <laughs> also, didn't kill a man. That's not no, true. not at all. Not didn't, at all. No, he didn't he kill passed a man. Away. He died of natural causes weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna die anyways, regardless yeah. of the vicious beating in the woods. <laughs> Look, the stroke he had the next day had nothing to do with us. <laughs> we make it sound like Connor walked into his fucking, you know, his, his nursing home and with a pillow. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was actually worse in a way. <laughs> He deserved it. <laughs> he deserved it. But hey, by the way, hey, I'll put some of the heat back on me. Last week, I confessed to a, being part of a dirty Filipino crime. Ring. That's true. Oh, we yeah. have some video of that. Don't I worry. mentioned. I mentioned that at some point we awarded the top Filipino with a smartphone. <laughs> the top Filipino. Manny Pacquiao worked at the call center. <laughs> <laughs> the odd, top Pinoy. <laughs> odd fact: uh, the Filipinos. Another. 
award that we give them is we pay for karaoke nights at a weird pool. They're really good singers. And they every single one of them requested a Manny Pacquiao's wife impersonate her. Wow. Are you talking about the Pinoy pit that we went to to do no, karaoke? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Filipinos. Karaoke's huge. Well, because we also Filipinos we did, in general. We did karaoke the at the, yeah, at we that did. Filipino bar one time. Yeah, so it's just a yeah. huge part of their culture. But anyways, they would always say like, hey, Mr. Jory, can we also please give me extra money so we could hire this Manny Pacquiao's wife impersonator? Um, and it was odd. <laughs> That's insane. Dude. It was weird. No. But my point is, so I confessed to being part of this dirty... Oh wow! You uploaded to YouTube. Oh, and this, Jesus. so this is the award ceremony that we made them do. Oh, God. And by the way, I am not proud of this. Wait, I'm this is your this it. is your company? Yeah. Wow. They look like they're offshore on a boat. <laughs> yeah, this looks like the uh, this looks like the Titan submersible. Look at all the clocks on the wall. They've got every time zone because they're just like fucking scamming people Man, all over the uh, world. Look at them. They've been eating fucking duck fetuses smothered in maple syrup all day. <laughs> Dude, um, right. well, yeah, Connor, go. <laughs> I worked at a moving company in New York, and we had like outsourced work to the Philippine, like Philippines. And for our job on like the weekly calendar, like schedule, it was like all the jobs. And then there's a thing called PBX, which was penalty box, <laughs> and it was just a public shaming. That's all it was. Is you like you get banned from work for like a week. No one ever gets fired, but it would be like your name on PBX and why you did it. And it was just like none of our none of our business. There's yeah. one guy one time who like took a shit in a client's apartment and flooded the toilet, uh -huh. and there was a cat in the bathroom. So the description was like PJ's on PBX for taking a fat nasty <laughs> shit in the client's bathroom and getting shit and piss water all over the client's cat. It's like a dunce cap. Yeah. Yes, it's insane. And one time he put the Filipinos on PBX. We don't know them. They live in the Philippines. <laughs> it's, it's truly the most insane thing ever. And then I open it up and it's their names on PBX and it just says for fucking my shit up big time right now. <laughs> I think we had the same boss. It was insane. I was like, I don't know who Seagreed is. Like, why do I have to see this? Wow. Uh, that's fantastic. For fucking my shit up big time. So by the way, I forgot this chick's name, but she was a, she used to be a fucking rock star. She was like 10 times above the second place person in terms wow. of sales. And she was the hottest chick. This one in the blue? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you meant the the, the sweetheart in, the, <laughs> no, no. So in the, the pink. The sweetheart is like the manager. Look at that. Of the crew. Maddie Rat worked for them for a while too. <laughs> By the way, like, <laughs> that guy in the back. Those are like the like two gay guys and a trans lady. Hell yeah, dude. And, okay. But so anyways, here's what, you know, they did for this. Award. I'm here. I'm for being the best agent of this <laughs> What song is this? Father John Misty. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I had it backwards. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude. By the way, I had it backwards. The, the, uh, the hot chick was was the manager. The other one was the top oh, agent. Oh my god. <laughs> Rewind that, Debbie. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at the reluctant clapping. They seem pretty uh, happy. Yeah, wow. they actually that that seemed like a nice day. That didn't. Yeah. That, that, that's that. I feel like you made their day with yeah. like that phone. That's more of a testament to the culture in the Philippines. They're just like the happiest little, incredibly jolly people. They're jolly. Yeah, yeah. they're just like fun, and they're always. I mean, Filipino mood. friend, like <laughs> growing up, like if he went to their house to drink, it was always the best time. I never like, had in that. High school. I didn't the know. Parents Filipino. are always the coolest. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. Filipinos uh, kick ass. They're like yeah. their, food, their food grosses me out, but they're good. Islanders they're in people. general. The little egg rolls are good. Mm -mm. You don't like them? I don't like a single thing on wow. a Filipino What, what kind of egg rolls do they make? They make little tiny egg rolls. But there's always something weird with it. You're like, is this bubble gum? What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? You can't swallow bubble gum. <laughs> fried I, I've heard good. people die on the hill that the fried chicken at Jolly Bee is actually pretty It's good. really heard, fucking yeah, good. Yeah, but that's not them. Mm. They season it their own way. Yeah. Every you know, fried chicken's a thing. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, like, and spaghetti it's, too. It's spaghetti's not them. a thing yeah. too. It's not them. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. They like, did all the other extra mm. shit. 
whatever that is. It's like when yeah. Koreans try to take credit for like just like chicken meat wings or like grilled yeah. fucking. I hate meat. people who are yeah. like, yeah, barbecues us. I'm like, what? No. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Every culture likes to think they were the first people to put beef over a flame, mm-hmm. and yeah. then they call it like they call Korean Japanese barbecue, Korean barbecue, Brazilian barbecue. It's a it's a cow. There's it's a, a huge... cow and you put it over fire. To be honest, the most unique meat is from the Irish and it's corned beef. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, to, 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 to make it. That's probably the most inventive original kind of meat. It's true. Beef Wellington. But that's all dressed no, up. but that's like a thing. Beef Wellington's, there's, like, there's bread it's just a in steak it. Yeah, it's covered just in bread. a steak with bread. But they, they slow roast it. But it's still just meat. No, but corn sure, beef, sure. the type of beef is like to, to preserve it. Yeah. It, was, it, was, okay. it was initially made to preserve the meat for as okay. long as possible and it turned out to be this like amazing type of meat. And beef jerky, maybe. Beef jerky. I don't like. I don't like paying. For, I don't like the price of beef jerky. Well, okay. he, I didn't. Realize, I don't want to pay thirteen dollars for paralyzed steak. Yeah. I didn't realize. Okay, if I'm a mil- this million dollar baby steak that I'm eating, <laughs> it was also thirteen dollars out, 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 out of a bag. It was made out of necessity too. It's like, yeah. oh, this beat's gonna go bad. Let's just fucking do yeah. what we but can also, to keep it good to eat. I made beef jerky one time, and like, there's so much meat in that bag. Like, it I love shrinks beef jerky. so yeah. much. That's why it costs so much. And then I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I yeah, happen to love It's almost like steak price. Yeah. It's steak prices, yeah. and I'm like, I'd rather have a ribeye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could have a ribeye mm-hmm. for 13 And bucks. I would be more full. For it sure. shrinks down so much, and I'm like, I can eat a whole bag of beef jerky. Exactly. Does, I don't feel any I'm not bullshit. Fan. I'm just saying. What beef jerky's great. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, kill the Beef jerky's great, but at messenger. the same time, like, go fuck yourself, yeah, John. suck me off. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. He's Listen, coming guys. for your spot. Yeah, he's coming for me. It's the second I made the beef jerky argument. I do. He's coming for your spot. You need to feel a lot. You need to feel nervous. He's I'm, killed somebody before. I know, dude. Do you ever Con- feel I'm scared? Gonna die, that he could I'm gonna kill die you? in the he woods. Killed an old, he killed an old man who was in much worse shape. Than, <laughs> he, he, you're you're, not, you're in much worse shape than that guy was. I, I don't know about that because I know the story. You know what's funny about the guy <laughs> whose house it was? Jack. What? Was the guy's name Jack or something? No. Oh. Why, do you, why do you act Also, how new? dare you? Why, why, I love that story. First it's off, my favorite why, fucking story. I want to know the co- why you had so much confidence in knowing this guy's name. Because I've, well, I've told heard... that story like 15 times to other people since he told it to me that one time. Oh. It's one of my favorite so stories you've been of making all time. up a name for a guy? Probably. Over time, it gets muddied. Yeah. Anyway, the, the guy whose house it was, my friend, he moved to the Philippines oh, to, wow. man- to manage a call center. And got married to a woman in the call center. Oh, wow. That's a common story. Yeah. These guys, like lonely internet marketing guys, will meet a Filipino, and then go, like, like right, fuck it. Like, yeah. this mail order bride sort of thing. And they moved to New York. And those chicks that I just showed you, by the way, would hit me up and obvious, like, in private messages and yeah. obviously just be like, oh, it's a rich white guy. Like, you know, yeah, trying to, Mr. like, Joey. seduce me. Yeah. Do you remember when, Joey, remember when we got picked up at that guy's house one time in an Uber at, like, 5 a.m., and he had, like, a Dodge Chrysler, like, 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 pimp my ride style? He's this weird white guy, he's older white guy, and he's driving us home. You were hammered, but, like... Where were we leaving? Um, a comedian's house. Robbie Gilbert. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually, I think it was. I, I just thought we just keep name dropping people. I was trying I'm to avoid. I'm not saying anything bad. Name- I love Robbie. No, I know. I'm just yeah. I was trying to avoid all the name drops on the show. You mentioned uh, the other guy. You're acting like he's fucking Brad Pitt. No, I'm saying you mentioned Dude, the other. I also love Robbie. Go on. <laughs> I do love Robbie. Go. Well, I love Robbie too. Um, we were leaving Robbie's house at like five a.m. or uh, his apartment at like five a.m. Yeah. We got an Uber, and we're in the back seat of this guy's Uber, and he has a. Um, he has a picture. He has like a like a uh, what is it called when you would take a picture into the thing? Polaroid. 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 He had a Polaroid picture taped to his dash of like this like very attractive like Filipino woman and like her family. Yeah. But she's like this and her oh, tits yeah. are out. And oh everything. fuck! And now I do remember. Yeah, yeah. And he's driving us, and I'm like drunk, and I'm like I'm like nice uh, picture. I'm like, is that your family? I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> You're like a white old white guy. What is this? Are you like an albino Filipino? Or? And he goes. No, dude, that's my fucking girlfriend, dude. He's like, oh, she's so... F-. He literally, this is the minute, this is the first thing he said, oh, she's so fucking hot. As he pulls out, and I'm like, oh my God, thank God this is a short ride. Yeah. We start driving, he's like, she's so fucking hot, dude. She's so fucking hot. She's like, she's coming out here to live with me soon, but she's bringing her whole fucking family. Oh my God. Her whole family's got to come. So he's like, so I'm like fucking saving up money, and I'm doing this to like save up money, because like I got to feed the whole fucking family. <laughs> Oh. But he kept going like she's so. F-. But he, and then he, he literally pulled it out from like he had like rubber bands like holding it. He pulled it out from Hand the it rubber. It was literally like collateral where he has like his yeah, happy yeah. place. Like he has the <laughs> island. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled it out and he he hands me the picture and I go yeah I go I go she's hot 
And he's like, yeah, he's, she's all fucking hot. And he grabs it back for he's me. He's like, jerk off to it right now. To <laughs> prove, it, prove how hot you think no, she is. He was doing He was like definitely trying to get Devin to be like, I would like to have sex with you. To tribute yeah, the picture. Was, he's, uh, yeah, yeah. He was going to tribute the picture. Why don't you, you leave a little gift on that thing before you give it back? <laughs> yeah. Give your love tears. No, it was, it was like a gypsy curse. He was trying to pass off a Filipino family <laughs> to you. Yeah, That's exactly. What was exactly. She made him do that, though. He goes, if you say she's fucking hot, then that family's yours, dude. <laughs> you said she was fucking hot already. It was something that happens with guys that wear a Guys that wear like affliction t-shirts, like they're like swears, <laughs> yeah. and they all fuck Filipino women. They, they are sure, the Cookie yeah. Monster hat, and so, so he, it was a bizarre ride. And you were just like, like in the back, like laughing. And I kept, I kept like it was being, the funniest thing in the I world. I kept having to talk to him about his hot ass wife, but he <laughs> kept, you? he kept talking about how, how like how angry he was at the family. And he's like, he, and he literally at one point he goes, you know them, they're all so fucking poor. <laughs> 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 we were getting driven around by like a classist horny cock. <laughs> Could yeah. you imagine being that horny? I know, dude. That you'll support an entire family for A whole for pussy. family. Because she was hot. How old is yeah. he? Loneliness dude, he is powerful. he was like, like 50s. Yeah, you get up there and you're just yeah. like, fuck it. Well, that's all of it. Yeah, I mean... All my dad's friends that like sucked ass like with women and shit like uh, they they all like broke up with their American women where they're like they talk I understand mm. what they're saying yeah. it's annoying they all get with these like foreign people and, yeah. you know, being with a foreigner is like being with like a sex my uncle people. has a yeah. girlfriend down in Colombia there you he go. goes down there and he like takes care of the whole because family. to an American man it's like you're dating a sexy retard yeah. you don't care you don't hear the nagging the nagging is just like kind of beautiful it's just like you go you go right I do like the idea that if you understand the language you're like what is she retarded. <laughs> but yeah, wild ride. You remember that actually? Yeah, I do. Man, I I do, or I remember you telling me about it because I have like a pretty good memory of that of event. that happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were in the back seat with me, but yeah, I had an Uber driver in New York one time and get in the car. And he, he has a giant iPad, like, over, like, the main console. Yeah. Uber drivers in New York, by the way, have, like, they, they do all sorts of, like, do-it-yourself, like, They'll tech. also never talk to you, which yeah. is the best. That's great. They'll talk to their entire family on speakerphone. On, on, yeah, on their, on their Bluetooth. <laughs> which I prefer that. I'm and, like, and it's also, dude, I, this might sound racist, but, like, every, like, Middle Eastern Uber driver I've ever had, they're screaming on the phone. And I'm like, are do you guys like it's each other? It's an angry language. It's just, it's yeah. insane. Just I'm like, are you, is this a fun conversation? Like yeah. I, I think they just don't understand how microphones work. <laughs> it's like your mouth is right by you. You can talk at a, yeah. a reasonable Well, because they're used to bombs going off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're speaking over yeah, the sound exactly. of war. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Connor, yes. But I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, my bad, dude. Um, I get into the car. Do the Jack Nicholson. <laughs> the gift. <laughs> uh, I get into the Uber, and there's an iPad, and he looks back at me and goes, Hey, man, do you mind if I watch Spider-Man 2? <laughs> <laughs> while driving? While driving. And I was like, it was so funny to me, because it wasn't just like, do you mind if I watch TV while I drive you home? He it was said like, the movie. Are you okay with Spider-Man 2, or do you have like an actual, like, even input? Like, do you want... <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm a Spider-Man 1 kind of guy, personally. Yeah, but... He's like, I know like, that is it Tobey Maguire? Or is it Are you an Andrew Garfield guy? <laughs> He's, He's like, listen, man, do you mind Spider-Man? Spider -Man? He goes, listen, man, the towers aren't in Spider-Man 2. They removed them. <laughs> Are you okay with that? <laughs> and we drove me home, and he was laughing out loud the entire time. Wow. Like, amazing. watching Spider-Man 2 be like, ha, <laughs> 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 oh, ha, I was like, I'm going to die. Just a deranged insane, man. Insane, yeah. That worries every, me. Sick. Every Uber driver in New York has their own. Remember, I, I got an Uber driver in New York coming from JFK to go see Connor. I had the worst, worst day of my life flying. <laughs> Well, they, we had to be backtracked to like uh, we were we, we were sent to uh, uh, Pittsburgh. I was on the runway in Pittsburgh for like three hours. There was a storm. Yeah. Finally got there like ten hours later. <laughs> Connor's like, "All right, we're getting food." Like you know, I'm like, "Yeah, it should be like forty five minutes." You know, I'm I'm in, I'm in the Uber now. It's a it's a guy. It's an Indian dude in his uh, <laughs> in his Tesla. We're leaving. He goes, "I just have to charge real quick." Oh no! I dude. go I go. Excuse me. I take my. I, I, what was that? He goes, we just, I have to charge car. <laughs> I go, are you fucking kidding me? He drives me to like a fucking like road stop weird. Like it looked like a place oh, where like, no. like, like the Sopranos like kill somebody like a gas station or something. Under a turnpike. We drive to some like, like turnpike gas station and he like, he drives to the, tr he kept talking about the wonders of Tesla and how amazing oh, the chart. And I'm like, I'm like, do you really have to do that? He goes, he goes. I just it's be. I have only a forty five, and when I get to Brooklyn, it might be hard. But no, but, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, whoa, okay, god damn it! I don't want to be that guy that like lands in New York, and I'm already like racist, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
so I'm like, after like ten cancellations too, I would have been like, "Fuck you, no." I know, dude. I know. I said I. You're I tr- insane. I tried to fight a little bit, and then I was just like, "It's happening." I'm already in the fucking. He, he only said it when we were on the fucking like highway. Whatever yeah, they call it out unbelievable. there. Unbelievable. So we pull off, and he he drives around the thing. It's all packed. So he goes, oh, he goes, oh, it's, it looks crowded. And I go, yeah, it looks like we're going to have to just go. <laughs> he drives around another time. He refuses to listen to me. He drives around another time. And I go, I go, what do you think? Somebody left in five seconds? I go, let's, can we, <laughs> we got to go, buddy. Like, you'll charge it in Brooklyn. He goes, oh, I guess you're right. He, he like, changed. He acted oh, like, you go- he so just, he was just trying to, like, do it easier for him, but he knew he could charge in Brooklyn. Oh, for sure, yeah. He, he wanted you to be a pushover and just be like, okay, sir, like, I'll wait. But then, like, if you gave a little resistance, he's like, okay, all right, you got me. Yeah, yeah. you got me. You yeah, got me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my. It was insane. I've ne- I I couldn't believe, like. I I'm felt like, so bad for you, man. He must do that to people all the time. It must he, be cheaper there than you, Brooklyn or something. If you shit. Uber in a Tesla. If you're doing Uber in your Tesla, imagine how many people you infuriate. Oh where you go, God. I have to, you pick them up and you have 13% battery and you go, I have to charge. Also, how fast do they charge? Oh, I, I think it's 20 minutes, honestly. It's a long right, yeah. fucking, a it's long not like getting time. gas. Yeah. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Also, it's on the drivers to like have gas in their car or have yep. a charge. Right, yep. exactly. Yeah. He was supposed to, I, I, I said, I go, why didn't you charge it before you got me? And I looked over and I'm like, you have like 60% battery. Like, Seriously? You have plenty, you have plenty Whoa, of what range. A just being a fucking Jesus asshole. He was trying to get paid uh, for charging. Yeah, shit. ten cents a minute. Yeah, yeah. the minute by yeah. Uber, huh? He got yeah, fucked. Yeah. He had a bonus to unlock or some that shit. Motherfucker. Mm. Oh my god. Anyway, New York's a great city, but the Uber driver. The U- I actually love my favorite thing in New York is the Ubers because yeah. it's it's always a wild ride. Yeah. It's always different. They're always fascinating and weird and different. Mm. They have their own systems. They, the guy's playing Xbox up front, or he's got like he's he's like hooked up his like own system. There's like a humidifier in the so fucking. So many car. Ubers also have like trivia, like they have this they have like iPads um, in the back of the seats. So you can play trivia while games. Mm-hmm. I had yeah. an Uber driver in New York City pick me up, and he started playing "Don't Stop Believing" as max out volume. And then what he did as an additional treat was he went to the the light on the top. And he just kept turning it on and off, <laughs> like a little light show. Like a light show, yeah, like, yeah. like just the re- the regular white light. Yes, oh, it wasn't even like a crazy. Light no, it light. was his light, the dome <laughs> light in the car, and he did it for the whole ride. No, and every he- every Uber in New York is cash cab, but there's no money prize. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, they'll have like a. I, I got in uh, in one where he had like a Squarespace thing set up, and it's an Uber, but mm. he was he was like, if it said like, if you want a tip. Mm. Like you and you know you tip on Uber, but he, he <laughs> had like indie tips That's as well, weird. like mm. thinking that people could just like tip you know, double. yeah, mm. incredible. What yeah. a city! Shame on these guys. What a city! You miss it? Yeah, no. Oh, right. no. It's still. I feel like I just. I, I'm you feel there. like you're still visiting, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's only yeah. been like three weeks. It's true. I went with the old Kling, uh, king of Glendora here to uh, Glendora. <laughs> you don't know about this. Oh right, he won the, the, he won the yeah, he won the open mic in Glendora. That's right, I forgot about that. Well, the king of what a deep cut! Oh my god, was that six years ago? Maybe more. Yeah, yeah. No, I went to a show with him, and it was just like there was like who is that autistic wrestler comic with the cauliflower ears? What? No, I don't know. About. He was autistic, and he was like hanging out, and then he was like, oh, "You don't want to talk, Danny." Oh, f- Glendora. I thought you were talking about the show on Thursday. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. What was his name? Danny, uh, Orange County guy. Uh, oh, God. Um, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But anyways, it was like... Masterson. <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird mic contest where they had like a velvet robe and a crown. And whoever was the funniest guy, according to like the bartender or something, they put the crown on you in this big robe. That's right. And then so uh, our running joke was uh, he won. Connor won. So I'm like, oh, the king of Glendora. <laughs> but so anyways, no, we went to uh, a show, Noah Finling show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why did I first bring this up? Do you I, remember? I don't no, know. I didn't. We don't know <laughs> no why you did it. No one knows what's going on in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> why did we bring this up? It's crazy. <laughs> no, so you segued funny. me. You segued me. I don't think he no, did. We York. talked about New York and then this. Oh, Ubers. yeah, New York. 
Jesus Christ. Oh, man. John, are you passing your long COVID along? Yeah, to I, think I'm, I think Joey, all this rides he shared with me has just made him dumb. Wait, wait, wait. Joey, it'll, it'll come to him. Hold on. Let's, uh, Let's try so to remember. Goofs, goofs. I don't like on and off. Wasn't Cash that? Cab. King of Glendora, did you see King this guy at this Dora. new show? It was right before that. No, when the no guy went, by the it? way, I went to a comedy show with the King of Glendora. That's all. That's yeah, all that's that what was. you said. And I was talking Wrestler. about New York, New York Uber drivers. Maybe I was just going to say Connor was very funny at the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. But so, yeah, Connor McNutt, 420 Naughty Boy, right, we, uh, we new legendary cast member of the Hey Watch podcast. We'll wrap mm. it up with that incredible story. I apologize um, about that. I would like to apologize about that. I thought it was great. I, I like the story a lot. I thought it was good. No, it's yeah. very complimentary. I'm just trying to, like, boost. I crushed. I'm trying to boost my pal. He crushed. It was fuck. Oh, he had the best joke ever. My new favorite joke of all time. And he, I won't do the joke, but. No, I, I want you to do the joke. How about you do the joke? Connor's joke? It's a Mission Impossible kind of spy yes, boys. It's a great joke. Yeah, yeah. And it's about how Tom Cruise is clearly just suicidal. Right? <laughs> he because does all, all the stunts. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then Connor goes like, and he's just bored. Like he's just like he just fucking got Alec Baldwin to be in a Mission Impossible movie. I regret letting you tell the joke. That's <laughs> actually yeah. bad, yeah. Uh, well, how, how do you say the punchline? <laughs> Get premise, <though. laughs> the, the new punchline is I go... You should bring Joey out on stage yeah. to finish the joke. <laughs> I was laughing I, I hard go, in the I, audience. I go, the stunts have to get crazier. For the next movie, Tom Cruise is going to be like, well, this next time we need Alec Baldwin. Yeah. <laughs> and like, good. well, he's not working, sir. And he's like, well, give me the prop guy. I want the prop guy. That's good. <laughs> that's the. Anyway, thanks, Gabe, Joey. I, I that's said, awesome. You I, never want to set somebody up to do their stand up on yeah, a show. That sucks. I, I can see that kill. I said, that I'm not going to say it. I said that. I'm not going to say it. And the caller's like, no, I want you to say it. I didn't well, think you got to butcher it that bad. He was trying to go along with it. You got to say it. No, no, no. I was just trying to do a quick, like, hey, Connor's really funny at stand up. And now he totally backfired. He seems like he's not funny at stand up. <laughs> but he killed an old incredible, man. Incredible, incredible. Even ODG yeah. killed an old man. Was. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Not my joke. You're right. <laughs> the joke stinks. I'm <laughs> kidding. No, it was very funny. I, I butchered that. Right. Connor McNutt, 420 Naughty Boy on Instagram and Twitter, right? Same same thing on Twitter? No. Or what's on Twitter? Just Connor McNutt. Connor McNutt on mm. Twitter. Uh, Joey R. LaFleur on Instagram. John Badman on Instagram. Hate Watch Pod. Uh, Patreon is called Patreon.com slash hate watch pod. Join podcast. us Podcast. No, it's pod. I had to tell them it's it's wrong. Uh, no, no, podcast. Yeah. You're right. There we go. The YouTube. It's YouTube.com slash hate watch pod. Yeah, okay. Because mm. fucking Richie made it. <laughs> 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 hey, and, Danes, uh, how about a uniform naming convention? <laughs> Jew? <laughs> wow. No, I'm kidding. I love Richie so much. I love Richie uh, to death. I think we'll see him Richie. later tonight. Um... Uh, but yeah, it was it was that was one of those things where I th it was a uh, you know whatever just a, a mix up, a little mix up. It doesn't really matter. Just type in hate watch on anything. Yeah, it yeah. gives a shit. You're already watching this. I don't even know why people promote things. You're already watching it. Well, they're not on the pay. This isn't Patreon. I know. I'm saying when people watch things, I don't even know why people promote things on. They plug the publicly. thing that they're doing. You you're on your YouTube. You go check out YouTube. Doc. They're watching it on. We YouTube. have to stop this. I know. No. Anyway, <laughs> right. God bless you all. Good night. Russell Brand, hey, I mean, I think he's, I, I, I think he's done good work. Yeah, very good, Devin. <laughs> no, no, hold on. And listen, if anything happens with me, because, li listen, there's I'm some, leaving. there's people out piss. there, there's, pe out. there's people yeah. out there talking. You got to There's people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turn it off, Debbie. That was good. <laughs>